me a sec. Right. Grab. And we're live. All right. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> All right, welcome everybody. Welcome viewers, fans. It's the second Q&A live feed. Yep. What do you think, Preston? Alright. What's up, dudes? Hi, what's up? How's it going? What's going on? Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey, it's Plank. Plank's here. How do you see the questions? Okay. Do you see questions? How many cords of wood should be produced in one day, Preston? What? Will there be a second one? Uh, eventually, there will be a second movie. Um, right now, uh, I'm in college. He's starting college pretty soon. When he's September 20th, I start college. And, and I start on Thursday for Navy boot camp. Hey, question in the show by One Step Behind. Who voiced Plank? I don't know. Plank's just Plank. Yep, My Plank's best friend, Plank. Plank. Watch that video. It's real funny. Hi, guys. Hello. Person, last name. How did you guys first meet? I met him in football in 7th grade in 2011. I met him in first day of school in 7th grade. He seventh looked grade. like... Mm -hmm. he's, he's just this guy sitting on the sitting on a bench all alone. So I came over and, and said, hey, I'm Ryan. He goes, hey, I'm Preston. We asked a bunch of questions. And then the last thing he said, well, what's your birthday? And it said August 8th, 1988. And he goes, get out. <laughs> At first when I met these guys... Um, Okay, t I'm not sure if you can tell, but these are identical twins, and when we were in the seventh grade, they looked exactly alike, <laughs> and I was, like, really confused. <laughs> like, I'd be like, what's up, Steve? He'd be like, no, I I'm Ryan. W what's up, Ryan? No, I'm Steve. <laughs> and then uh, one day, I saw them both together, and then I was like, wait, wait, there's two of you. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like that, uh, Van Damme we double impact, like, oh, there's two of them? Yeah, I was a new student to the, to the school and stuff. Yep. Uh, we've been best friends ever since, and we always wanted to make a, a film, but we uh, never had the the opportunity to, and also we didn't really know how to do it. But uh, this was our last chance, and we didn't let the opportunity uh, get away from us. Mm -hmm. Matthew Little John said, would you guys ever be in my movie? That depends. Like, what I, are you going to try to make? I don't know. We don't know. Uh, I don't think you uh, live in Michigan, and uh, we got some pretty busy schedules. Yeah. Um, do. do you, Carlos Gal and Galindo, okay, do you plan on putting the parents of the Eds in a clip? Watch the show, honestly, there's no parents whatsoever, except Eddie's brother and, um, the big picture show. Yeah, you might see, like, a, I think you see, like, an arm or something every now and then. Yeah. Or you see, like, a, like, a shadowed silhouette of a, of a, an adult, but you never see any adults or hear their voices. Reaver Red Panda says twins can be confusing. Well... So yeah, when they're first born. Mm -hmm. uh, Edson five zero seven five one said, "Are you going to make another episode?" Yeah. Yep. Next uh, year. Around the future. Next yeah. Year. Uh, uh, yep. Plan to eventually. It's called it's, patience. Yep. And do your voice for your characters. Oh, that guy's funny. <laughs> oh um, tell you what, Jimmy boy, I'll help you get your pal back for a quarter. <laughs> oh, messy, messy, messy. Hmm. Very intriguing. Uh, Pikachu Girl 123 said, You did a very good job trying to select them anyway. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Metatona said the same thing. OMG, you sound perfect. Well, you you thank you so much. We you try. don't need to read all that, just the questions. Okay, just read okay. the questions. All right. That seems fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people sharing it to their friends. That's why. Hey, thanks a lot for the whole views and comments. We loved it. Mm hmm. What inspired you... Okay, Captain Fusion says, what inspired you guys to do this? Um, like I said before, uh, we were just... Since uh, seventh grade, it was, like, one of our, our goals to, like, make some kind of movie. And uh, we were always talking about it. We were always, like, collaborating. Oh, it'd be cool to do this. It would be cool to do that. Oh, man, we should make this. We should do that. And uh, a lot of the stuff we wanted to do was probably too out of the... Too too high budgeted too complex and 
Uh, we just didn't have, we weren't equipped for that. And, um, you know, uh, time caught up with us. And this was our senior year of high school. And uh, it just kind of came to me one day. I was like, we should do Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Yep. yep it was Will there be a idea. part two somehow in the future? Yep. Next and, year. Next year. Um, how long did it take to, okay, Piggy Girl, Girl 1, 2, 3 said, how long did it take to make? Are there any bloopers too? In whole total per deem, it took us like two months. Yep. Because mm-hmm. some days we couldn't, some days we couldn't do it because we had scheduling conflicts and it kind of pushed back some other days. Some days, um, what was going on? Like you had something. Some I, days I, 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 wor- had, I work. Same as I. Like, like, yep, like, I work like, with I, my dad. Uh, the only days we could film were like Wednesdays and Sundays. And, and then like even those could be like can conflict with other people's schedules mm-hmm. because uh the, the like getting people you know we could like we were really reliable you know oh yeah like like we knew if we wanted to film something we could get it done because you know they live like a mile away but like other people uh if we needed to, like schedule the canker sister scene that was one of the biggest uh the most challenging like scenes to like schedule because like you're not just re- relying on like one person to show up you're relying on three different people you know to show up and uh, you know, scheduling is like we'd be we get like really close to the day uh, we needed the film, and then someone would say, "Sorry, I can't do it." Mm-hmm. And then I'd have to contact everyone, say, "It's a no go, it's a no go," uh, and then reschedule for for like a different day or sometime next week. And it really kept pushing the uh, the release date back. Yeah, it was. I mean, some days like for some scenes we had to film like like the last scene we ever do was like filming like one day. Yep, I one mean, day because one day one to do day. like a two minute scene, let alone. Yeah. Um, it was quite challenging. The first day we filmed was the pet rock scene in the park, and it was pretty fun. I I had so much fun. That's the beauty of, of filmmaking. You don't need the film in order. The hard part is just uh, keeping the uh, the continuity of it and the uh, the scheduling. Yeah, like it, our like our hairstyles change. It was hell. It was, hell. It was yep. hell. Cody Campbell says, "What's your favorite edit and episode?" Can Mine I start first? It? Yeah, sure. My I actually have three. Um, the day the the uh, the day the Ed stood still because Double D gets a shining moment. I've asked the Ed because eighty eight fingers Edward. That's my favorite, and Robin Ed because of Captain Melonhead. It's all funny. Oh, I like the I like the one where Eddie is trying to get the quarter off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I always like that one. We even put like that little Easter egg in our movie, but um, that was always such a funny one because he tries all these tactics and stuff, and then. Johnny comes on and just effort, effortlessly, uh, effortlessly, effortlessly yeah. yeah, thank you, <laughs> walks up, peels the quarter off, you know, and eats gum, I was like, oh my god, man, it's so funny. <laughs> my, my favorite episode is Avasti Ed, because, you know, Ed was, I mean, Ed has like that sort of cap that enlisted sailors wear, and I'm like, I'm gonna be wearing that stuff later, and then, uh, the idiot finger is Edward, also the episode when uh, Eddie gets like a camera, like the one with a snap, with a bulb on it that flashes and, you know, b- blinds people. Especially the scenes where he goes up to Kevin and blinds the, blinds the living daylights out of him. And the part when Jimmy and Sarah are playing with dolls or something, and then Eddie snaps a photo, and then Jimmy goes in the corner and starts crying. <laughs> and, and when Johnny's in the, and when Johnny 2 by 4 is in the bathtub, and he <laughs> takes a picture, and he goes, I hope no one's seen that. <laughs> I was laughing. Okay, um, will you guys ever... Captain Fusion, sorry if I, you know... M- mess up names. Exactly. Yeah. I'm sorry. Will you guys ever make a new character? Make a new character for um, yeah, most of the time. No, no, I no, guess. A, no. A, a, as well, it's, maybe uh, for ma- maybe we might create like original, like make maybe make like an original Three Stooges slapstick kind of thing, mm-hmm. like with with us. But like make a new character for the Ed Ed and Eddie universe, definitely not. No, because as fans, we just don't feel entire like entitled to like do that kind of stuff, you know. So we also aren't very comfortable with um. Uh, Exposing what's underneath Double D's hat, you know, we prefer to like leave that up to Danny Ant- Antonucci because, mm-hmm. you know, we, we, you know that's that's just that's a mystery to us too, you know. Yep. Did it take? Okay, Reaver Red Panda also says, did it take long for you guys to get the voices down? For me, no. I love the yes. I know the show right from me, the back yeah. of my head of Matt Hill providing the voice of Ed, even though I had to watch the episodes all over again. I I still know how to get the voice down easy. It's so simple. Um, for me, it was so much hard because I had a rough time, and whoever watched the film and said they didn't like my voice, I'm sorry. I tried so hard. Even Preston told me I sounded exactly like from the first episode. Yeah, in some scenes, he's he's on, like, oh, messy, messy, messy. Oh, messy, 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 messy. That's it. Uh-huh. Um, Ed. Like, uh, 
Like when like when when it came to me, we should do Ed, Ed and Eddie. And then I was like, I need to get the voice down. So then like I'd practice, I'd practice whenever I could. Um, uh, so maybe it was probably like a week's worth of practicing, trying to get that that raspiness down, but sounding youthful and not like, like a crazy man. Um, uh, yeah. Now I can do it like effort effortlessly. You know. Oh my God, there's that word again. But I can do it with ease. You know. Tell you what, <laughs> suckers. Hey, you owe us a quarter. Sayer Jones says, LOL, why is Double D holding plank? Trivia for you. That Double D is actually, we built that. Well, it wasn't we built. We actually we had a piece of plank. We, just we had two planks. This is the actual plank. Uh, the other one is with Joe Cardona, who plays Johnny 2x4, which is the stunt plank. If you catch the Easter egg, uh, Preston will actually tell you what happened. Well, okay, well there was, okay when we filmed that, we could we could film clips and we don't need like everyone we didn't like because Ed was um well Steve was running late I was in a delivery run yeah and uh, so it was just uh, me Ryan and um Joe Johnny and uh, we were waiting for him at that park and we figured you know we could and he had plank in his car <laughs> mm-hmm. so uh, we made a that was my fault we, so we made a new plank so if you look like very very closely you can see the grain on the wood. This is is kind of different between the plank and the the scene at the park, and then the the plank at the other when we when we're selling the uh, pet rocks. Yep, it, it's it's slightly different color, slightly mm-hmm. different grain to the wood. Will you go? Okay, Rudy Reed says, will you will you go on with the Courage Cowley dog? Afraid not. I don't think so. Well, <laughs> I wish. We we wanted to put that in just for a gag or something and um get people excited. Oh, but... Muriel, Muriel. <laughs> But Stupid dog! You make me look bad! <laughs> the dead man, 101 says, How old are you guys? True fact, we're all 19. We're all born the same day, same month, same year. Yep. Different times, though. Just yep. just like the Eds. So we kind of, like, have that bond. There's, like, parallels. It's weird. And, like, I, like, like pieced it together, like, after we made the movie. Like, uh, like the Eds sharing the same name. We share the same exact birthday. 1998, August 8th. And these two share the same middle name, which is pretty funny. John. John, yep. Mine's Jerome. X, X, yo, yo, 216, XX says, is there any pet rocks left? 25 cents. Yeah, there's, 25 there's, cents. there's a bunch, of, there's bunch in my car. Mm-hmm. Yep, 20, <laughs> 25 cents. Andy, Andy Kishore says, are you aware that SpongeBob, SquarePants, and Ed and Eddie both premiered in 1999? We were just about infants to a year old, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ed and Eddie, SpongeBob, have been around my entire life. Mm-hmm. Cody Campbell says, who had the most difficult character to get right? That would be me. Sort of, yeah. Because I mean, of the voice. But the costume, um, we went through eight different stores for the red socks. We couldn't find any. So I had purple socks, long purple socks, and Preston said, all right, that looks fine to me. At least it's accurate. So yeah, so that. like both like... Uh, Including the, the beanie, too. Yeah, the technical aspects and like the more internal aspects of like trying to figure out the character. Um, for me, like, like uh, it was kind of like hard to be a prick to my friends, you know, because, like, Eddie, he's just, like, such a little impulsive little jerk sometimes, and, like, he's always, Arr! you know, like, he just, he just, he, he dog, just yeah. does that, and, like, mm-hmm. and, like, he insults people, and it's, like, not, it's sometimes, usually when he insults people, like, especially his close friends, it's not really, like, a joking kind of way sometimes, often he, he, like, mono brow, it's, it's, like, he, like, sometimes really nasty, and I don't, like, just and cold. it's, like, I don't understand, sure. like, how his friends are, like, 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 oh, we forgive you, dude. You're cool, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. yeah. So, like, just, just being, being a jerk to Steven Ryan. So yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Carlos yeah. Galindo says, would you be able to make any new scams to the show that would be something like the Eds may think of? Fidget spinners. I want to. Oh yeah, <laughs> 2017. 2017. The fidget spinners. Fidget spinners. spinners and that, and that's just cube. the beauty of it because uh, the Eds are no longer kids, so they can start going doing adult things. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Roger Gonzalez 362 says do you guys like jawbreakers in your life yeah, yeah. oh yeah oh, oh yeah it tastes delicious oh. Oh, good um, Brandon Haynes says do you think that Ed is smart in his own way more like street smart and I guess he's more brawn than brains so yeah. obviously double D is the brains Eddie is he's he never uh, considers consequences Mm-mm. He he's he's always like, oh, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this, and that's his motive. He has motives. He's like, we're gonna get jawbreakers, we're gonna make money, <laughs> and that's all he thinks about. And you know, sometimes he, um, 
he never considers that this plan might not work. Double D is like more. He's the inventor, more of the guy who like who does like, like takes consider. He considers the consequences. Like you know, it's not gonna go well, Eddie. It's don't not do gonna it. go well. Don't do it. And he, then the man with the man with um. And then the Ed, with the, the logic. Yep. yep. He's and then logic. Ed's just a chill, laid back guy, just going on about his day, doesn't worry about loves. a thing, and just goes, okay, he's like in for the ride. He's like, yeah, I'll loves go for life, it. Loves life, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he is he is kind of smart in his own way. Yeah. Or at least he thinks he's smart. Yeah. Of you course. Know? River Red Pandas also says, hey, how, did it take long for you guys to get the voices down? No. For me, no. <laughs> yes, for me. for me. Yes for Double D, no for me. And it was, it was a little bit of practice getting there. Um, now we can do it with ease. Captain Fusion says, will you guys do any other shows? I first want, since I'm, in, I'm going about the boot camp, I kind of ever thought of writing a, like a f- fan film G.I. Joe from like the 80s. Like, you know, like the, the, back, the back then times. Not the new style because... I'm more old, sometimes old classic than new, so I'm going to try that. Um, Johnny Bravo also is going to do one. For but me, for as me of now, no. I would love to do Darkwing Duck. I love Darkwing Duck so much, but it's going to be hard doing an anthrop- anthropomorphic duck. Instead, just grab a guy, dress him up as a duck, and just say, here you go, it's Darkwing Duck. Um, another one I want to do is, I would love to do is Codename Kids Next Door. Oh, man. That, that, it, that, we're that, all grown that, up. That would require some... Uh, some, some, kids, some yeah. gadgets and some massive props and stuff. Um, yeah. But uh, one I would like to do, South Park. Oh, yes! yeah. South Park would be amazing. South Park. Hey, guys, I'm going home. Aaron, really? did you say the F word? Well, this is going to be the best movie ever. Say my Shut, Shut up, Shut up, up Carmen. Carmen. Uh, so um, I like to do Recess. Oh, yeah. Recess is awesome. Captain, oh, that's right. Cody Campbell says, what was the most difficult character? Well... Difficult character, as in to work with, or as in trying to portray. Uh, probably Rolf. Oh yeah, Rolf. that's what I was Rolf. gonna say, Rolf. Because... Um, he wasn't our f- first choice. Nope. Um, we actually wanted the guy that played Kevin. I know he doesn't have like, he's not, like he doesn't have like darker hair, um, or you know he's not like tan. So um, hey, but but fun. but he but he has like a really great vocal range and stuff, and he can really. Uh, uh, would have um, emulated like that that quirkiness Ralph has and like like ah how animated he is and yeah right. and he can he has naturally has like that nasally voice so he could really get in there and um he could he could do it very nice but uh our second choice uh, Zach um uh, he played a character uh, in one of our high school plays called the Sketchy Foreigner yep and um mm-hmm. for, for some reason he, he he sounded more like Ralph there in in, in that uh, performance but. Maybe he lost it. Like, he I, crossed over and he yeah. doesn't remember. Yeah, he doesn't. So I, I can't I probably, him. like... So, I didn't know if he... He just something. didn't, like, bring his A game that day. But, uh, all in all, uh, the, the scene was kind of getting a little stale. So, I was like, guys, run around. Act like you're hitting him with a shoe. Yeah. You know? And that kind of... I outran him, actually. Yeah, that, him, that kind of self if, if, if people ask me if you guys did the sequel, they want to see the Hand of Discipline. Yep. Huh? Is that a Do you live in a cave? Yep. Okay. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> The N okay N one S C four R I think it spells NASCAR I'm not That's sure cool. but it's a cool name though. That's cool. Do you guys have thoughts and prayers on those families done in Texas with the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey? Oh God yeah. God bless them, man. God bless them. God bless them with all my soul I, and heart. Um, me and, heart and soul. Um, me and, um, and Steve here actually have family in, that Texas, is in Texas, but, but they're they not. In the, uh, they're Danny's in the northern song. part, which I thank God because if they were in the southern part. They wouldn't be here, or they'd be in trouble right now, and it would feel so so sad. So my but, guys and I are ready for it. Like the but baby. I, hey, I do you know what a charger God, is? I got God bless them. Ryan's got a charger. He can go get it. Like what kind of charger? If, uh, iPhone. iPod. 7 iPhone charger. charger. I could find one and. Uh, can you do it, Ryan. So I'm gonna keep going with. It. I got read more questions. I'll be right back. Yep. All right. Yeah, with my but, phone's gonna die. But, yeah. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> I was. Anyways. <laughs> Yeah, we do have our thoughts and prayers on them. God bless them with all our hearts. Mm-hmm. We love them. Okay, Carlos Galindo. Which Ed will get Naz if you plan on making her appear more often? That's not, a, none of the Ed's none, good, Naz. sorry. Like, Eddie keeps dreaming. Ed will... I don't know. Well, uh, Double D. Double D is probably more likely to get Naz. But, like, I could see that happening way in the future when he's successful. Mm-hmm. She gold digger. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, let me think here. Give me one sec. 
Skinned uh crud. There's it's a lot of questions pouring in. Yeah, it's like <laughs> wow, I love these. I love it. I forgot to press the button. Um, give me a minute. Hold on one sec. Uh okay. I'm in one two one nineteen ninety okay, scratch it. One two nineteen ninety eight. In what way do you guys relate to the ads? I kind of relate to more of the strength wise. I mean, yes, I am smart. Don't get me wrong. All those comments are saying, oh, I'm this or that. Yeah. That's not true. That's just acting. You know, get the facts straight. I'm sorry to be a jerk, but still, I got to be serious in this one. I'm more, of, I'm more like it's strength. You know, I'm, I mean, sometimes, you know, I'm laid back. You know, I like to see things and watch my day go by and just have fun. Also, like, again, to the, back to, referring back to the parallels. Mm hmm. Um, if you we're like what we're majoring in or like what we're going like what we're setting out for like why didn't I think of this like before like when I was writing this like Eddie would totally be like like an actor some kind of showman you know like uh, used car salesman or an actor you know that's just something he would 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 do you know and Ed this guy Steve going into the Navy mm -hmm. that like I could totally see Ed going into like military service yep. Some, okay. okay, GC the. So, sorry about that, folks. I had to go get him a charger. <coughs> what kind of questions do I miss? Uh, do you have a. And also, like, yeah, of course, Ryan, he's going to study uh, radiology. So, again, what, the what parallels. questions do I miss, though? Not much. Do you have the same questions over and over again? Oh, over and over again. It's okay. GC the Joker 007. 007 is awesome. It's my Joker, favorite. Joker, I love Joker. Hi, my question is Will you be releasing a compilation of bloopers of film? Uh. Preston, that's your kind of question because you filmed most of it. What's I don't I, I had to delete all the footage we had, like 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 extra footage because I was really running low on storage on my phone. Uh, so um, there were some bloopers though. I'll, I'll tell you about. Do you have like like the back to it that that will like some kind of port that'll plug from from this into a outlet or something? Like what? Like okay. A, um... I thought you could plug in two. Somebody computer, said, though, okay, give me a second. I, I don't have that. Hey, dude. Okay, keep No, I don't. Oh, it's keep, right there. No, that's, that's not it. Yeah, it is. is Hold it, on. Is give it? me a second. Yeah. Somebody, okay. The charging? Darkest it? Hour 757 says, who played the Kanker Sisters? Okay. Uh, those are, that's actually three of our friends from high school. I don't think, is it charging? Did it say it's charging? One sec. I'm sorry, guys. Sorry about that, folks. Here, Preston. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll forge my plug first. Give me a second. Give me a, give us some uh, technical difficulties. Sorry Stand about by. that. He has to charge his phone. Uh, Here. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties. Please. It's Stand gonna by. be. It's <laughs> good. Do you have an extension cord? Uh, no, no I don't. I don't think so. Do we have something over there for like the? I mean, we could. You know, or at least I know we can charge the f or, or the phone. Or we could. Kind of <laughs> Neil, we weren't prepared. Neil, no, we weren't prepared. I'm I, sorry we about apologize. We apologize. All right. Uh, yeah, you guys keep answering questions. Okay. Somebody wrote. Um. Who are your other favorite? Okay, Metatonus says, "Who are your favorite characters other than the Neds?" Naz is one of my favorites because Naz she... and um, Johnny. Yeah, I'll take Johnny. Yeah. I like I like Rolf and. Or if you want to stand, that's fine. Unless you want me to go get high top chairs from over there. Oh, uh, give me a second. Um, is there a difference? So what's it called? Or wait, um, Red and Dead says, "Holy hell, I wasn't expecting this." How's it going? Oh, we're doing great. Oh, we're, we're doing good. Thanks for the oh, no response. Preston, I can, uh, Some people actually ask, ask us, "Want to do a King of the Hill episode?" I you would want love to do, to do a King of the Hill episode. Yeah. Well, Dale T. Grable's in charge of that. Is it him? It's in. Is it? There's Preston. Yeah, we could actually get some chairs to get a new setup going. Okay. We're going live. Hang on. Let me move this. All right. Uh, Again, I, I apologize yeah. for the technical difficulties. Please stand uh, by. Watch your feces. Sorry, what guys. What kind of chairs do we need, though? High just top put, chairs? Just push it. Right, let's do just... we need a high top chairs or do we need, um... We could get, like, those... Yeah, get three... Yeah, get those things. There we go. Now we look at the chair. Oh, careful. I'm gonna... Careful. <laughs> Jeez, this is getting too weird. I'm gonna... I'm gonna Anyways. Hold on. Okay, um, Fix Sorry, Image says Hank Hank and Bobby. Like Hank and Bobby Hill? I can do Hank Hill. <clears throat> I sell propane, propane accessories. I can do Modern Pride. I, Bobby! I can do, uh, Dale. That, uh, come on. <clears throat> Guns don't kill people, the government does. I sell or, propane, uh, propane accessories. I didn't dangle buzzers, man. Didn't... 
Hold on. Hold on. I'm coming. Go click, 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 click. You don't know who I am, but I know where you live, sex teacher. You don't oh. cut it out. <laughs> yeah, I know that guy. Um, wait, wait. am I in the shot or no? Pikachu oh, girl no, likes no, three. On the other side. Hey, I'm reading questions. Sorry, guys. What Pikachu girl one two three says? What do you plan to do next? Uh, we're As the gonna moment, do the uh, the Ed and Eddie sequel next sequel. year. Next year. Uh, Mark Slips says, "Are you guys making another edit movie Ed and Eddie next year?" Yes, next year. Zach Swass says, "What will you do if Cartoon Network sues you?" What will we do? What we do? Well, 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 we're not making any money off the movie. Exactly. So what's well, the we're problem? Gonna, well, I don't have my stuff monetized. I would freak out. Purposely. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Red and says, how's your guys' day going? So far, so good. It's pretty we're good. Doing good. Okay, that's something. Um, Roger Gonzalez, 362 says, where are you guys going to study in college? Since I'm in the Navy and you know I'm going to be on out of ship, I still take college courses online. I'm taking it in uh, aviation and criminal justice. I'll be do. I'll be studying in radiology. I'm a theater major, so, yep. so if, acting. I would like to be an actor or a uh, voice actor. I also spoke to my counselor at the college, and he said, if you don't like it, you just get up and go. He asked me, what's my other thing I'm interested in? I said, theater. So if radiology doesn't work, I could just do theater. Point six three. Work with you. Sorry, guys. Point six three two three six nine eight three nine says, have any of you guys met any of the voice actors or other crew from the original show? Nope. 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 Just Danny Antonucci, the creator himself. I haven't really met him, but uh, he actually, he saw the movie. <laughs> he, he saw, and he um he, actually he, asked he, for our friend requests on Facebook, and we're like, yeah, oh yeah. He commented on our, um, not not that the, not the video on my channel, but I have, a, I, have channel. A, I have a different channel called Preston Cornelius. His personal channel. And uh, the channel. movie's on there too. It's only got like a thousand views or something. But Danny Antonucci uh, commented on that one. He said Killer loved it. Oh, awesome. G C the Joker double says, and ha have you gotten it? Okay, the same question. Uh, a man one two nineteen ninety says, how hot it was wearing the double poles. That one's on you. Oh my dude, listen, man, it's it's hard being two hundred eighty pounds, all right? Now you got now you got a guy in like what is it like ninety five degree weather? Yeah, it was a nightmare. In, in um in in two polos. With all that weight on them, and in some scenes being in that hot porter potty, hot car, whatever, dude. I'm just always sweaty. Even when it is it hot, I'm I'm sweaty. Okay. It, it, it's like it's 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 hot. I mean, not like ridiculously sweaty, but it was uh, it was pretty. It was hell. Dead, you know. Dead Force says, "Why did you kidnap Plank? It's actually a replica. It's this not, is the real plank. This is the real. Well, not plank, the real real plank. Know, it's a replica. They, they're just messing guys. Yeah, they're just messing us. But it's funny though. Thank you. Um. <laughs> I don't know, Someone Kate, says Double D is my favorite. Who else loves Double D? Thank you. Thank you. X Double X D is my favorite too. XXOS is, messy, that is, messy, that messy. is my fave. Thank you. Uh, Pikachu, one, two, three, say, Pikachu Girl says, one, two, three, says, uh, what movie do you plan to make next if you could eventually? Uh, weren't you going to make a Captain Melonhead spinoff? For, well, yeah, until we just brought the sequel. So I'm like, maybe that's going to be shelved because uh, now people want. People on uh, Monster Bubba Lagoon want the sequel so we'll give them the sequel sequels next year and uh this time when, when we do the sequel the characters will be more grounded and i plan to make it more like um like 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 they're more grown up okay like like um now they're facing more uh you know teenager challenges and mm -hmm. me and, longer and, and they have to grow up and uh, yeah and so then it's gonna and so it's gonna be a little more heartfelt mm -hmm. and maybe um but it, but it's still gonna have the uh the whimsical theme to it and everything. I and promise I'll put 88 fingers Edward in it. The Ferb guy <laughs> says... I, that's my plan. The Ferb guy says, what scene caused you to get the most takes? Oh, gee. Oh, wasn't shit. it the playground scene? So, okay, listen. All right, the playground scene, it was like raining, and, and then like it wasn't raining, and so uh, like editing, that was like like the hardest scene to um to edit because of like the different like like the weather kept changing like so do you notice like some clips it's kind it's like kind of raining a little bit then like other clips it's not so um i had to like put like a blue filter on it and like a like a like um and put some rain sound effects in the background so it sounds like it's kind of pouring and like some thunder sound sound effects mm -hmm. and stuff you know just to keep it kind of like cartoony and Ash is crazy. Oh, sorry, Ryan. Looks good for uh, also film also boyfriend. like the wind kept yeah, like hitting, that was terrible. kept like terrible. hitting the mics, uh, so it like like so then they're like oh we're gonna have to redo this dude this is crap 
Yep. You know, mm-hmm. like the whole, f- and then like like the the stand would move mm-hmm. because the wind would blow it and it'd be like really shaky. Ash's crazy life said, "If you had to go back and make the film again, what would you do different?" Um, this, we're gonna add some a scene in which Double D makes his bed because yes, we you guys called it on us in this one, so and we're gonna call it. My boys will change this time, I promise. Like, listen, all right. Like we just like so like I like I, like as a director I'm just like focused on so many things like the mm-hmm. like the acting and stuff and like like the technical aspects is the sound good is is the uh, the lighting in the room good is is the camera good is this a decent angle is the continuity good is all this stuff here and then I just missed one little thing double D didn't make his bed and like um and it wasn't like meant to be like he wasn't going to make his bed it was just like did I need to like routine his entire morning like no like I didn't like. I was just showing, like, brief clips of, like, what the Eds do every morning. You know, I wasn't going to, like, show you, like, Eddie waking up and then taking a poop and then, like, eating breakfast and then making coffee and then styling his hair and, and, and doing None stuff in here. No, just, like, like brief things of what the Eds do in the morning and, you know, making his bed. Like, I didn't even, like, think of that, but it was in the clip and you guys caught it and, you know, you called us out, you know. Yeah. And, and we had, we'd take responsibility. It's our mistake. Um, um, but I am planning on uh, uploading a director's cut. Mm-hmm. So um so a re-edited f- version the re- unintended re ed it and dread terse cut ed edition yep <laughs> makes sense <laughs> Amon twelve ninety ninety eight says if you guys could okay yeah no, if you guys get to do redo the ending would you buy the actual giant jawbreakers um, good question where can we find them yeah oh uh, like well, the candy store they have like like oh yeah the one size, size yeah. about like it's a like a golf ball or like something a, about no it's ball. like I saw like one that's like the size of like a tennis ball like the uh, size of a tennis yeah. ball. Dude, they're just so messy. Zach Swasta says, would you guys ever do a crossover as Ed and Eddie with the Trailer Park Boys? That'd be awesome. Uh, to be honest, but that'd be kind of tough. Like, how are we going to get over to Canada? Say, um, <laughs> I know we have passports and that, but still, like, how? Eddie would have been, like, with Ricky. Bubbles would have been with Ed. And then Julian would have been Double D. Because they have, like... I, I think of Trailer Park Boys, like, I could see... That's like a Canadian like adult a, version of Ed and Eddie. It's like a... Yeah, like, like what Steve said. Uh, fixed images. Try a hand kill impression. That would be my job. I think I did it already, but if you guys want me to do it again, so be it. I sell propane and propane accessories. Mm. That boy ain't right. Guns don't kill people. The government does. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna try Bill. All right. Okay. Do this Bill. My Please first time. Bill. My first time doing Bill? an impression. All right. What the, what's something he I'm, said? I'm so depressed. I can't even blink. <laughs> 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 Yo, I'm so depressed I can't even blink. I got dang old buzzers, man. I'm flying low this year. Dang. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm super not fun. Uh, let me think another one. And then, and okay. Um, <laughs> will it be a behind the scenes for the film from the Ferb guy? Uh, what? Will there be a behind the scenes for the film? Ferb guy asked that question. Um, a behind the scenes. This is as close as we can get, dude. Yeah, I'm sorry. Apparently, we, yeah. we apologize in advance. <laughs> like, I didn't, like, have any, like, extra storage on my phone to, like, do, like, other stuff and, like, interview, like, each, like, character, like, each actor. Um, I would have loved to have done that, but mm-hmm. I just didn't have any storage. And, like, I had to delete, like, all the bloopers mm-hmm. and stuff. To, yeah, just so I could, we apologize. Just so I could get this movie together. Right. Storage, storage, storage. Okay. Um, Ash's crazy list is if you had to do the movie, I think you asked the question. I'm not sure if you had to do the movie over again, what would you do different? My I think voice. That mm, that's a new question. I but it's still kind of the same. It's question-ish. still the same yeah. question, but I'd say I'll do my voice different. I wouldn't do, do more, nothing more different. high pitched, more like double D, which I'll do like in the next film. Mm-hmm. Oh, I would, I would have, I would have, cropped uh, or like zoomed in on on the part where. Uh, uh, Sarah's walking in her house, and you see a picture of me. That's gonna be blurred uh, out. On, on that should have been blurred on, out on the wall. Like, I, like I uh, in the re-edited edition, um, I, I zoom in on it so you can't even see who's in the picture. So, yeah. So all, all of the mistakes and stuff have been edited. But if I would have, you know, considered that like back then, you know, I would have changed that. What do you okay? Blue Dragon, Master of Galaxies. <laughs> what do you guys think of a crossover between Conan and Kid and Ed and Eddie? Honestly, that challenging. That's challenging. <laughs> difficult. Very difficult. difficult. Impossible for us. Multi Sandstorm. Well, it'd be one, cool if we seen it as a cartoon, though. I've been so happy to see that. Mm-hmm. Multi Sandstorm one two three says, "Have you guys seen the Ed and Eddie two thousand seventeen? Yep. Yep. Yeah. 
Very so, depressing. Yeah, that was Very it, it was it was I, like yeah. I, I like I agree. I commented on that mo- on that uh, video. Um, I thought it was funny and, and satirical. Um, but as like for like the fans, you know, I would prefer like it like if the Eds finally got their big moment because like the, we're always rooting for the Eds and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. since two thousand you know, since nineteen ninety nine they never win. Mm-hmm. You know. Yep. Uh, Cy Wave says, "Is it okay if I do a review of your video if I credit you?" P.S. You deserve more views. Is that good with you? Uh, is that cool with you, Brian? Yeah. You? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Please. Yeah, yeah. Please. Sure. Please. Please, man. It, 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 don't, 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 don't um, pound on us too Please hard. Please don't. You, you know? We don't no. need that. We don't need you know. That. We've been through too much in general. We don't need more. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Mason eight oh nine eight oh nine says, "Do you love butter toast in general?" Yeah, I do. do Every this, morning this with my, coffee. It's my favorite food. I like butter toast. Uh, butter toast. <laughs> Um, uh, Amen. Twelve, 1998. Would you guys do a superhero fan film? Yeah, I would actually yeah, love to. I would. Um, Fantastic Four, maybe. Yeah, I agree on that. Um, uh, yeah. or um, the Avengers. I was thinking of doing. I want to do Inhumans. Er, mm. It's global. Well, Guardians of the Galaxy, more like. No, because Guardians of the Galaxy is space. Inhumans, they trans, they teleport to Earth. How are we gonna do that? Let's just be. Let's just, just have just, just something we could like work with within our means. You know, um, something that isn't. Oh, like too. That's gonna um, call for too much uh, makeup and costuming, and, mm-hmm. and or, or too many people to right. show up. You know, because I like my favorite hero is Black Bolt. Yeah. And imagine just him on Earth, and he, yeah. he's gonna be viewing, and then he's gonna run him with like some bad guys, and then crap happens. Darkest well, Hours seven fifty seven says, "How did you get the outfits for the Canker Sisters?" That was all. That was all them. Was, oh man! All them Listen, <laughs> I'm just like so happy. Yeah, same as I. I'm okay. loving it. Look, Keep going. Okay. We love it. We, we can do this all we, night. We, like it was such a chore to get that scene to happen. Okay, because you know, like we kept constantly like rescheduling because uh, usually when we schedule days for people to show up, it's just the Eds and one other person. You know, you got the Eds and Johnny, the Eds, mm-hmm. the Eds and um, Kevin. You know, yeah, or something like that. You just need one person to show up. Mm-hmm. But we were depending on three people to show up. So we were like for like uh, like three weeks we were like constantly like scheduling and then canceling, uh, which pushed the, the the release date of the film back. And um, when they showed up, they I said just wear something as accurate to the show as you as you can. And they they showed they up it. in costume. Um, Ready luck, to go. Luckily for me, I contacted. Um, Alina, 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 Alina. She's and really she, good she does at a lot of cosplay and stuff. Really and, good. Um, and I was like. I, I contacted her. I was like, I know you do cosplay. Do you have any wigs? I need a blue wig. And you know, cankers. And she luckily she had them. She available. was right in the spot with we're it. Gonna put and, her, and she, we're gonna put her. We're gonna probably put her as a cameo in the sequel if we if we can. Because I remember. I don't think so. That's, that's, that much a, that's, that's a different character, dude. That's not that's, right. That's, that's a new character. Uh, I'm even sorry, even though no. there are background people and stuff. Yeah. That's there is an adult right. in our movie. <laughs> when when we open the when we well, open the door for the gas for the gas station. The candy store for the gas station. The dog like, oh crap. Yeah, it's cool though. Well, yeah. Wolfpack four lift three says, do you guys watch anime? Dragon Ball Z, yeah. Goggle 13, and Fist in the Northern Star. The, ah, da, 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 I watched yeah, yeah, watch One Kinshiro. Punch Man, I watched Cowboy Bebop, no, 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 we gotta keep this going. Hunter x Hunter, Blue Exorcist, and of course, my favorite is Akira. I like whatever's on Adult Swim late at night. Don't make me go too fast. Game dude. Game Life Human says, time. how much weed do y'all smoke? None. None? None? <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> That's a stupid Don't question. read those ones. <laughs> okay, yep. Uh, do, you, do you see the Joker of Double Swim blue for real anytime soon? No, sorry. Uh, what was the question? Um, give me a second. I'm trying to. Carlos Galindo, Galindo, do you love chickens as much as the cartoon Ed? That's my. That's the question for me. So obviously, chickens are are fun to look at. I fried mean, chicken. Fried chicken. Oh, yum! I love fried chicken. I know actually, chicken in general. <laughs> actually, um, my friend Trevor, uh, he has chickens at his house. Oh man, I scared he the crap out of them. He accidentally scared the crap out of one of them, and it got a heart attack and died. So I did the chickens, and you know, he literally and screamed the chicken, just chicken died so me. loud, a chicken had a heart attack and died right in front of us. That, that wasn't when we were filming. That, yep. that so no chicken died. No, that was no chickens were harmed during the film. That, yeah, that was from at my neighbor's house. Thing of chickens. Gamer boy one nine nine five two zero two said, "What made you guys decide to do Ed and Eddie?" We well. We came no, up with it one day in senior year of high school. We were like, "Want to do?" It? And he came up with to me. So you guys want to do that? It was like, at the end of our senior year, though. Like, again, I'll repeat this. I think I said this like three, four times. Already. Yeah. <laughs> but okay, we you wanted to make. We we, we, we met in seventh grade, 
and we and we were like we became best friends you know because we had like a connection like Ed and Eddie we had uh, the same birthdays we were born on August 8th 1998 just like like crazy so we had that connection that like made us like three friends well they're brothers they're twins so <laughs> but you know but, um so uh, uh you know we always wanted to make some kind of fan film but like all the ideas we had were just too like w like not in our means you know uh, too complex and stuff you know uh and then uh time caught up with us and it was our senior year and uh we were just like dude we need to make a movie ryan's like i want to make a horror movie i want to you know yeah like, we just like we we're spitballing I ideas like what what we could do you know and execute you know pretty decently mm -hmm. and i was then it just came to me one day i was like Ed, Ed, eddie and then like i took a shower <laughs> thought of the plot like and like within 15 minutes and called them up told them about it and they're just like we love it and they instantly knew who they wanted to play and i was like i already want to be eddie it's so simple as that it was like play, it was like it was like clockwork destiny man in. the epiphany <laughs> all right um, K Skills 2 says, Will you guys ever do an animated, animated film? Animated? No, no, no. sorry. That's if, the. That's if the we bigger. had to, we had to go call Danny and Tanucci and say, Make we, a real film. Well, here I, did big, here I did Big Picture Show, which is the big finale, but if it was like a full length movie, then. Yeah, we can't we can't Digital that. Nation says, Not sure if asked. They made one more mm -hmm. episode of NNA. What would you want to see the episode about? The scam working. What's under Double D's hat? What's exactly. under his hat? Do you guys like okay, uh, Roger Gonzalez three six two? Do you guys like animes? So what anime would you like to act out in film? That's a tough one. I'll go thirteen because he's an assassin. And I would love to play like a James Bond rip off assassin like him. It. And I have I got the material I can do it, but that's the problem. I don't have time to do it right now. I want to do Akira. Akira, yeah, just a, yeah, just a small, just the bike scene, and that's it. Cause it's so much fun and cool to see. Mm, okay, um, what's another okay? <laughs> Derpy Dinosaur says, how much practice did it take to get the voice correct? Well, we, we tried it twice. We, That's what we did. It took me a lot, a lot of time to do it. Uh, um, yeah, a little bit of preparation. Uh, the Dead Man 101 says, how do you find all the people for the characters? That was okay. easy. It was theater. What was it? Um, I theater class. It was, it was our friends from uh, the theater, theater class. Department. Yeah, theater we, department. We we, uh, we we we're from a small town. We have a, a very small school, very small theater department, and originally when I was writing it I didn't want to put every character from the show in the movie mm -hmm. but, but that was Ryan's idea he uh, insisted we should and then you know we, then we were talking about it and I'm just and he's just like you know we got we got him and then like you know we, we got them and just like you know what maybe we can but I knew it would be very difficult to like actually get people to show up you know that's the hard part and I knew how like much of a project it would be to like because then it would become a project because then it like it'll take more than a couple days or a week to make this so yeah, yeah. Bill Nye says I love the movie well Bill Nye I love your science show yeah. <laughs> if that's your if that's, that's your awesome movie. what was your favorite scene um, uh, the canker scene the canker scene the canker scene was just booked and ran because it was just those it was just those three chasing us three, right? Like we don't want, we don't want to see. Like no, Listen, man, I, felt, I, I felt so giddy, man. <laughs> see, when, when they showed up, it was a treat to be there in person, mm -hmm. watch them show up in costume, and it then have have our wig person put wigs on them and stuff. I felt like scared because I, I felt like I was chasing kill me. It's like we like we got to brain it. Now. We had yep. to like got it. <laughs> look, we had to literally look scared. I actually, to the point, I like looked like I was actually terrified. You know, ran. yeah. The Ferb guy says, "What is your favorite movie at this time, as in like the year this year or years before?" Well, my favorite movie right now is I mean it's Top Gun. I'll give you three. That's all. I need. Top three is Top Gun, Point Break, nineteen ninety one with Keanu Reeves, and um, let me see here. I'm not sure. I mean, there's a lot of movies I like, but I'd say I'll just give two out of three. It's Top Gun and Point Break, 1991. I have That's three. No. Um, the Rocketeer, 1991, and then it's Donnie Darko, and then my number one favorite of all time is Blade Runner, which oh, I'm yeah, excited Blade for Runner's the sequel third. in October. I love uh, David Lynch's uh, Racerhead. Uh, oh, uh, Racerhead's good. I watched that the other day. Yeah, I like uh, The Alpha Man. That's one of my favorite movies. That's good. And... Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the first one. Yeah. Original 74. Yep. yep. And the okay. second one. Yep. Second one's my, also. Carlos Galindo says, Are you all the real Eds and came out of the TV to Escape Cartoon Network and the route it has taken? Listen, all right. We're just a bunch of teenagers just wanting to make a fan film to, you know, inspire fans, entertainment, and 
it's just we want to do for a long time, you know? So, Imagine so, we were the, actually the real ads, just jumped out of TV and said, screw Cartoon Network. But listen, we, we share a lot of like uh, similarities to the ads and parallels, you know? Um, I'll make this very brief because I explained it a couple times, but um, like, uh, again, share the same birthday. Uh, like, I want to be an actor, which is something like Eddie w w w would want to do, some kind of showmanship, yep. you know, in the spotlight. Um, Ed going into the Navy. Yep. You know, you could totally see Ed doing some kind of military uh, force. And then, of course, Double D going to co college yes. to uh, study radiology. Yep. Yeah. Rudy Reed says Marvel or DC. Marvel, Marvel and definitely. Marvel. 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 I mean, DC is okay, but Marvel's more higher. So yeah, I brought DC can, fans, there, no offense, but I, DC is good too. I mean, I like Green I do Lantern, like DC, Superman, I like Green Batman. Lantern, Superman, Constantine, and... Uh, There's just more characters I love from Marvel. Yeah. Yep. Well, I could. I, I love DC too. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. But, I, and, uh, I, compare, I compare. I um, compare. Marvel is like the Jedi, and DC is like the Sith because they're both. Because Marvel is light and DC is dark. Resurrected Gaming. How did you get Eddie's hair to stand like it? Stand like it did. Okay. Hair okay. gel. So listen, I think it was. Nope. It was a. Uh, it was a hairspray called Got to Be Glued. All right. And uh, you know, you just kind of like first like styling. It's like uh, what what could I like see like how could you see Eddie styling his hair? And when my hair was much longer before I got it cut, I'd like kind of like slick it back, you know, like like he's kind of like a greasy person, you know, and then just kind of like take the hairspray, take each strand, hit it with the hair dryer. Hmm? Yep. What's to say? And then you know, hit it with the hair dryer, and mm -hmm. then and then it dry it, and then that's it, you know. The Dead Man one once says, "Would you guys do a Sonic fan film? If I had the right material, I mean, I'd love to be Sonic. He could be Tails. Eggman." Could... Man." Doctor ah. Robotnik, yeah, but, no, we'll the do, creep we'll on do Mobius. the Phantom off of Sonic the Hedgehog two. Yeah, ah. yeah, because you know I can be Sonic and Tails, and you can be Doctor Robotnik, the dumb creep. Okay, <laughs> um, is it, I'm just joking. Have you? Uh, um, hold on. Garboy nine one nine nine five two zero two says, "How did you guys get motivated doing an any movie?" Uh, we explained this before. We'll explain it again. How you get motivated, though, you just got to want it. You just got to want to have the drive to do it, you know? Exactly. You just uh, got to think. Because, uh, okay. like, to me, it was just like, this is, like, our symphony of, like, our whole, like, friendship throughout the years. We always wanted to do this, and this is um, this is our last chance, and we just got to... You gotta do it. Also, we we love Ed Ed Eddie. Yes, okay? we do. And um, it's always it's like it's fun. Like it was always like looking forward to, like doing the next scene. You know. Grace B says, "Do you guys have Instagram?" No. I still do have mine, but I don't use them much. I don't have Facebook. Instagram. Facebook, I have Facebook, mostly. Facebook, and I have a Twitter, but I don't use Twitter much. Look up Presto Corn on Facebook. Steve Ulinski. Ryan Ulinski. Um, I have a picture. My profile picture is me as Double D. Sidewave says, I, we, I, "That's my favorite thing." Yeah. Sidewave says, "Will we ever see Eddie's older brother?" That's a hard question. I can get my no, my cousin. I want my dad to play Eddie. Oh Eddie's my brother, Eddie God! Yes. No, no, but um, my cousin. Because he's got like my, the same voice my as cousin, me. And... My cousin Tony, he actually has the. He actually looks like Eddie's brother. Like he has the full beard and all. Like he actually has like a beard that looks similar like him, and he kind of looks like him too. I could ask him, but I don't know. No, my dad. My dad would be funny though, mm -hmm. because like there's like we're like, like we're like related or something. Yeah, I, I mean that'd be nice. Amen. But, oh my God, I'm getting friend requests. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm probably getting friend requests <laughs> also. Sam, Thank, you. Right. Thank you. Amen. One two nine nine says, "What's your favorite editing meme? If you have one." Uh, oh gosh, there's Mine. one. There's one with um <laughs> double D says, you know, he's playing the eighty fingers. Eighty fingers Edward. And he says, "No f's were given." I'm That's my swear, favorite so, right there. Eighty fingers the point. Edward. It says no F's I like the me. one with uh, Ed, and he's got like the hoops on his ears. Yeah, he's doing the, uh, the oh, not they weren't hoops, they were hangers. Coat hangers. hangers. No, coat, coat hangers. Coat hangers. Yeah, and he was doing the, and I, and uh, me and Joey Caradona were thinking of doing like a music montage of Boom Boom Pow with Black Eyed Peas. Boom Boom Boom. Gotta get Ed. You know, it's just. <laughs> oh, the guy that's uh, reviewing our movie. Uh, let us know. Yes, yes. please uh, share uh, it to uh, us. Uh, let yeah. us know, please, by any means necessary. If you comment it in the in the. Um, the comment the link or something in my uh, movie, uh, like in the cra in the comments or something, it'll go through the spam the spam feed, and like then I'll have to like access it on my computer. I can't really get to it on my phone, so it'll, it'll probably take me a little longer to get to it. So we're sorry if we can't catch up your comments and we're trying to get all the questions answered. You know it's tough, but we're, we're getting how, how how much you're pouring in? It looks like a lot. A lot, a lot. Oh my so god! We're trying to get and there's comments, questions. questions. We just got to read them all. We're trying. How, we're sorry for the delays. What, what, what time read. should we cut off at? Twelve thirty. We can go send ourselves another hour because you know we got to read all these questions. Oh my god! I know it sucks, it's but a still. Lot. Man. Okay. <laughs>
Skedier I don't know how to pronounce it. I saw, I'm sorry. Get your shine on. Oh, I'm sorry. 95 says, how were you guys able to find actors who resemble the characters? Oh and will there be a sequel? God. Um, I on. hired Naz because it was a pers- it was a close friend of all three of us. Every, everyone from the film is in our high school theater department, so we knew them. Uh, we knew their personality, their acting style, like, like, uh, how they would best portray it. And, um, like, so, like, when I was casting it, like, like Emily Patajasic was in the back of my mind, but I originally didn't want Naz in in the film because like it would just be like 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 hard to like write the character in and then like expect her to sh- to show up and stuff and then like make sure she's ready and um you know because like, also I wanted like Johnny and a bunch of other people and it's just it's like really hard people don't like understand like it's it's difficult to like schedule days because you need the three heads to be there and then like one other person you know. Which mm-hmm. which isn't the most difficult one. The the mm-hmm. Kanker's sister scene was was the hardest. Uh, Out of all th- the schedule, of yeah, the schedule, yeah. yeah. Winter then the Wolf fourteen says double D. Will you please notice me. Yeah, Winter the Wolf four, t- was fourteen. 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 Have a good day. That's a quote by L.A. Beast. How you doing? <laughs> Cy- <laughs> well, I, well, I, well, I watched L.A. Beast's videos. And he always says have a good day. Cy Wave says also, can I do a video on your Ed and Eddie stuff? Like besides reviewing, a review would be cool. Review would be fine. If they're going to, if they're going to pound us, do it with like. Uh, do it with, with like respect. Please. Yeah, please respect. And um, we went through too much. It's a no budget film. We deserve better. Um, uh, oh Sebastian Sar, our buddy from high school, it says hi Steve Ryan Prison. Hey, hi Sebastian. Sebastian Sar. Sebastian, I What's missed you, buddy? Sebastian. How you doing, pal? Um, Carlos Galindo says, "Do you ever think you all become mainstream?" Mainstream. Hmm. What's that? Uh, what's I don't know what's that. I'm sorry. I don't know. Cinnabon Tuesdays. How's college? I'm still waiting boot camp till Thursday. Sorry. September twentieth. I have seventeen days. Um, I've uh, it's it's different. I'm living on campus at U of D Mercy, um, University of Detroit Mercy from Michigan, and um, it's uh, it's different, you know. Uh, uh, how'd you? Okay, Shibby three sixteen says, how did you guys sound like the ads watching the show? Just watch the just show. Just watching the show and have a clear mind. I have research. Your voice is burned in my mind. So now, yeah, my voice. I grew up watching it as a child. Double D's voice is now encrypted in my David, head. I can't get it out. Yep. David Patrick says, hey, Ed and Eddie, guys, have you seen the t- toys in the show? Not I don't think that I've I remember. The to- the Not what? that I, I recall. I looked on Etsy the other day. The, the they what? Made, Etsy. It's like a website that They is, got, like, little figurines. They, got, they also got, like, plush toys. Uh, Some dude made. I, um, I collect action figures. It would be cool to, like, if, they, I, if I could ever, like, make customs. If they make a like custom Ed and Eddie figure, I'd buy, I'd buy a double D immediately. It would be cool. Game Life Human says, thank you for serving our country in the Navy, my friend. Thank you. Wasn't a Marine. My friend was in the Marines, and he passed away a few years back. You know what? God Aww. bless you, Marines. God friends, bless so Marines, Semper man. Five for him. We're on the same side. We fight like brothers, you know. Semper Real American five. heroes. Um... Uh, Reba says, "Nice Hank, Steve. Nice Hank Hill. Thank you. I love the show. Good job, dude. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you guys did good too. I'm not gonna let you guys in the dark. Um, <laughs> um let me think. A- a- Amen. One two nine nine says, does Danny Antonucci have a YouTube channel? Yes, he does. Yeah, yes, he, he does. does but like, Just Facebook Danny, too. Yeah, yep. he also has Facebook. He actually commented on our, uh, our on our movie, um, but not on um, the one on the Monster Blood Bath Lagoon channel. I have another channel called Preston Cornelius. I uploaded the the movie there too, and, and he uh, loved it. Yeah, he said Killer loved it. And we're uh, friends it, with him on Facebook. He, so. yeah. he friended us on Facebook. I wanted to talk to us. Um, let me think here. Ash Crazy Life says, when you get to the sequel, what will you do differently from the first film? Okay, um, I had this idea in my head, okay? Uh, that, like, the Eds are, uh, they need to grow up, and they need to go to college. So, like, Eddie, uh, being the one not really thinking about the future, just kind of always, like, living in the moment. Like, we need money, we need jawbreakers, you know? And then, like, the Eds, like, the other Eds, like, kind of, like... Cause Eddie's like always the one that's kind of like singled out, you know. Mm-hmm. He's the brains. I mean, I mean, oh my God, he's he's the bronze. The bronze, yeah. The bronze. He's the brains, you know. Without mm-hmm. without them, Eddie is basically nothing, you know. Um. So uh. We'll still have. And and, and then they're just like you know he's like so then like we could literally like take like from like from our actual like experiences and like he could like be like I'm going to the Navy and then he'll be right. like and then he'll be like I'm going to study radiology and then like Eddie's like well. You guys, you're leaving me. Then, like, they could like have this little feud, like oh, I don't like you, and then you know, and then like Eddie finds his passion acting or something, and then like they like they all become friends again. Yep. Basic story. Yep. Original. Basic story, but you know, that, gamer, that, 
brief synopsis. Gamer Boy one nine nine five two zero zero two, which um, which I'm just gonna call you Gamer Boy from now on. It's like I have to memorize the whole number. How did you Ed so good, dude? I'm like, well, I watched the show. I loved it as a kid. The voice was burned deep into my memory from Matt Hill himself, and you know I just went with it. Um, X Ving Y T X. How was it getting your hair to the last? Okay, like that, the one in the blue, which is you. Oh, dude. Okay. <sighs> it's, 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 it's about 15 minutes of preparation, you know, you know, just kind of style it, slick it back, because Eddie's kind of like, you know, like, like kind of cool guy, you know, being all slick and stuff, and then like, uh, taking like, like a strand, twirling it up, get some got to be glued hairspray, spraying it, taking a hair dryer, drying it, you know, let it get all, mm -hmm. get all hard and dry so it can stay there, you know, and then, you know, repeat the process two more times, and then there you go, you're good to go. Sebastian Star, our buddy, says, how long did it take for you to make the video? Two months. Two months. Um, took us about two months to shoot it, two months to edit it, because I was editing like along the way. As soon as we filmed the scene, I, I'd uh, edit it, and then um, once we got all the footage, I put it all together, uh, did some finishing touches, uh, put some music behind it, sound effects, and then <laughs> uploaded it. <laughs> Zach Swasa says, I'll read this. Uh, Sierra Jones says, Double D is my favorite character of all time. I approve this message. Just question. Zach Swasa says, What's a stunt from the show you love to reenact? Obviously, I don't know about that one because I'm not <laughs> injured and I don't want to get injured. No uh, thanks. But I will do 88 fingers on board. Yeah, because otherwise, it's so much fun. I was um, game life human says, ah, y'all have a Facebook? Yep, yep. Ryan Ulinski, that's me. Steve Presto Lucky. corn. Just look at it. Yeah. P R E S T O. Steve Ulinski, U L I N S K I. Yep. Our last name, me and Steve here. Our last name is Ulinski, U L I N S K I. Look us up. My, um, my home address. <laughs> no, 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 hell no. Too confidential. <laughs> All right, keep it down. Uh, Carlos Galena says, is there any of Carthage Network fans that you teamed up with with your guys' same dedication to making a fan-made movie? What? Uh, Carlos Galena says, is there any other Cartoon Network fans that you teamed up with with your guys' same dedication no. to making a fan-made movie? Wait, 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 will we do that? I mean, if there's people out there, if it's just, if, if, if it's convenient, as you know, if it's convenient and it doesn't take up too much time. Yep. Cinnabon Two says, "Where are you guys from? Michigan. Michigan." Michigan. Uh, Darkest Hour Cinnabon says, "Is who came up with your YouTube username?" That was you, guys. So I had too. the channel for over like five years, and um, before I just kind of like review geeky stuff, like uh -huh. uh, stat statues, Movies. collectibles, action figures, uh, co do some cosplay stuff. Uh, then I up like started doing like different stuff, like uh, like up we made a salmon Twitch. From Spawn, mm -hmm. short film. That was uh, interesting. It's a uh, dude. Listen, you want you okay, you. It's not, some people thought the Ed, Ed and Eddie movie was cringy. You want to see cringy? Watch that movie. Watch Sam and Twitch. It's so cringy. That was terrible. Uh, was listen, I, I only like we made that when we were like in like eighth grade, and I uh, put the movie together like like I think like a year ago, uh, because back then I didn't even know how to edit until like a year ago, mm -hmm. so I just kind of shot a bunch of stuff, had it on my iPhone for that long. Mm -hmm. Fixed images. Where's everyone from? I'm in, I'm in Washington D.C. Greetings. Greetings. We're from, from Michigan. We're, We're from, from Michigan. Michigan. So. The Dead Man 101 says, "Where do you guys see yourself in 20 years?" Well, for me, I'll be a retired Navy. I don't know what rank I'm going to be. Hopefully, an officer rank. Hope. And I'll, I'll be working. Hopefully, where these guys will be. Hopefully, L.A. someday or California. I'm either if wife I'm, and if, kids, maybe. Like, like I said, if radiology goes well, I'll, I'll be in the hot. I'll be working in the dark room in the hospital. Probably in San Diego or somewhere, or if that doesn't work, I want to do theater. I'll be a professional theater actor or director working on shows now. I just want to be an actor. I want to, I'll, I'll either be, I want to be like a voice actor, uh, so like I can just go to like studios and stuff and do voices, uh, maybe some impersonations if I'm lucky, or um, just like create my own voices and stuff for mm -hmm. upcoming shows. Okay, John. Jonathan Good Boy says, is Plank possessed by a demon? Ooh. Obviously not. I'm just joking. <laughs> That's funny though. Black Frame 731, ever played Ed and any misadventures? Speaking of which, the game is right here. Yep. I bought it for 20 bucks online. I I'm almost beat it, and it's a great game, actually. Well, it's it's childish and yet corny at sometimes like the animation's a bit off, the cutscenes are a bit off, but it's fun. So yeah, I'm just gonna put that We're gonna right. play that tonight if we can. Um <laughs> Coden says, did Danny Antonucci really see your film? Yes. yes. That's a yes. I, I mean, I don't know if he watched the whole thing or just kind of like commented on it to be nice, but, <laughs> he, you know, he said Killer loved it, so. 
Hold I mean, on. We got his attention. Okay, person last name is whose car did Eddie steal? Actually, that, that was actually life, his real that's car. That's his real Ford Expedition in real life. Um, yeah. We're going to use... Well, originally it was going to be a sports car. Sports I just, I, car. I, I read it. I, I wrote it as a sports car because I was trying to reference uh, one of the the episodes where mm-hmm. Eddie goes into a car and he just like he sees a sports car, so he gets in and just starts kind of like messing with it and trying to start it and stuff and like driving. And Naz walks up and she's like, "Cool car, Eddie," and he's like, "Yeah, what's up?" Yep. You know, um, that was that was like an Easter egg, but also um, I threw in that whole like steal the the money thing because like Eddie was like never given. Like an opportunity to like steal money, and this this would be like um, it'd just be like, you know, some something different, mm-hmm. you know, from the show, and it just kind of like uh, you know, go like Eddie doesn't see the consequence consequences, you know, he just like thinks like, oh my god, this is money, we could buy jawbreakers, you know, plain and simple. Yep. Don't kill the judge. Says, why do you hate me? We don't. We don't hate, we don't hate fans. We don't. We don't hate anybody. Basically. Hey man, if you don't like the movie, just, we don't, we're just sorry, dude. We yeah. sorry. We do. We tried our best. As we tried our best. We don't hate we anyone. We put as much love as we could into it. Okay. Ed the Geek Five says, "What other Cartoon Network shows would you guys make a live action show out of?" Urgh. Johnny um, Bravo, Courage Cowardly Dog. That's it. Tony and Kids Next Door. If we have time and money. Like I like I wouldn't make like a thirty minute car, Courage of Cowardly Dog movie because it'd be difficult just to get a dog to do stuff. It was difficult just to get a dog to stand there and be like, okay, now like look happy or something. Um, so probably like a five minute video, Courage of Cowardly Dog. Yep. Manitoba says, have you watched any modern Cartoon Network? Could no. I was gonna stop there. I don't question. have enough. I'm sorry, I, but no. I, I, I would have been Adventure I, Time, but then I like drew myself away from it. I'm like, this is not going I used, anywhere good for me. I used to really like regular show. I, I liked Adventure Time. I do. I like. I like. I like, I, like, I like Chowder back in the day, and I liked um. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I stopped I watching liked, that after the uh, 2000, I remember the 2010s when they kind of hit. Two misadventures of Flapjack. And Flapjack was good. What about Flapjack. Gumball? Flapjack. What about okay. Gumball? Guys, okay, I'm sorry, I cut you off, but um, one first off, a comment for you, Preston says, a "Game like you, you remind me of Chris Farley in a good way." Okay, yep. I know, I I get that a lot. Uh, Chris, Charlie, Chris Farley, John Candy, I get it a lot. I get okay, Ryan Charlie Gosling. spanked you. Says, "I um, what was your favorite car- 1990s Cartoon Network show besides?" And yeah, I like Courage and Cowardly Dog mostly. Yeah, I like Scared Courage. Me as a kid, but I love it. That's my favorite show. Courage. The uh, things I do for love. Stupid dog. Game life. Oh, game life. Human. Chris Farley or David Spade. Honestly, I love both. Farley. Both. I just watched Do- well, Joe Dirt today, I just, so I yeah, love that movie. I just watched Do- Joe Farley. Dirt today. Farley. Um, Farley. Uh, Mario Sonic Warner. How did you deal at Eddie's hairstyle? We just asked that question. Oh I God. think you weren't uh, listening, I'm, but I'm, we we uh, sorry. Um, got. I use got to be got to be glued hairspray in a hair dryer. Eh. Peach Fuzz <laughs> says, "Will you still keep posting on the channel for him?" Yeah. Um, uh, like, uh, the next movie should come within a within a year or t- uh, yeah, about a year. Uh, is that is when we're planning to uh, actually make the sequel? Um, but there should be maybe in like a couple months or something, maybe sooner. Uh, I want to upload the uh, re-edited... Direct... Dir- editor's cut. Edition. Ed edition. Um, <laughs> ed edition. Uh, of of, this, of uh, the current film. So it's like a director's cut. So there's like um, a lot of like the, the scenes that are like... Seen the like like clips that are just kind of like a little bit too long or cut down. And um, a lot of the mistakes like Double D not making his bed. Mm-hmm. Um, a picture of Eddie in uh, Ed's house. You know, a little stuff like that. And... Um, yeah, so it, it's as good as it could literally get. Yep. Varpy Garpin says, can you guys show us on our W's app? That's up to Danny Antonucci. That's in our department. I Sorry. Yeah, taking this as off. fans, we don't feel comfortable, you know, you know, revealing that information, you know. It's just not up to us. Pedro Loco says, why did you guys come up with this idea? A film about that awesome show? We just want to do it. No we budget. Do we want to do something before we all it's go our separate ways soon. Um... Is there going to be a sequel soon by Time, Time for Columbia Galaxy? Next year. Next year, dude. It was original, I was originally going to do this Captain Mountain Head spinoff, but I, I now pulled the plug on that, shelved it for the sequel. Okay. Um, Night Raid. <laughs> what? Night Raid. Are you guys related to Jake Paul? No. No. I don't, I don't. I heard about that guy, and he seems like a total clown. Okay, Carlos Galindo, have you guys been noticed by anyone that may sponsor you? 
Um, that's a hard. That's, that's a difficult question. Uh, yes and no. Um, what is? Oh wait, where is that guy that played Johnny? We don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Um, if you were to okay, JC double the Joker double O sentences. If you were to do a sequel, and I know that's a big if, would you make an episode of the Evs going to school? Well, if I, they all have their different lives and careers as adults. So, like, Ed's going to the military. Eddie's going to acting school or college to go to do acting. W's going to college for radiology to be a genius. I think if we were to make the movie next year, it would be the Ed's just graduating high school. Yep. Mm-hmm. Or um, because they were 18 in the last movie, mm-hmm. it would probably, be, like, take place in the same, like, with, like, the same year. So it'd be like, yeah. so it'd be like maybe like uh, like a month or two after the the first. And movie. yes, eighty eight fingers. I would, would be on it. Uh, Red Flash says, have you ever watched the live action and any videos from Fast Kin Prod from nine years ago? Apparently not. Nope. Brandon Gardner says, have you guys had any contact with the source creators? Have they praised you in any way? Danny Antonucci. Danny Antonucci. Yep. We, we loved it. We loved it. You loved it. Um, fixed image says, going ghost hunting. What, what? Hmm. If we want to turn into Ghostbusters, maybe the real Ghostbusters. Uh, I, I, want, I want to be with Dan Aykroyd. Yeah, Peter I'll be Van, I'll I'll be Ramis. Bill Murray. What is the okay? Edgar Carrera says, "What is the future of this channel? Can do another movie of cartoon or no? Next summer we're doing a next new summer is the sequel. sequel to this. The next episode. And then of course, uh, and then a, and then a month or two, or maybe sooner, the. Re-edit, edit, edit, edition. Yep. Mm-hmm. Person last name says, what did you use to edit the video? We all shot and edited and... Wait, what, what did it say? What did we... What did you use to edit the video? What, oh, it's, um, I used my iPhone 7. Which is what's going to cost. 100% shot and edited on iPhone 7. And I used iMovie, the iMovie app. I originally wanted to use my computer, but it was being crappy. So, um, uh, which is Movie Maker, H- HP Movie Maker, terrible. Mm-hmm. But um, I used iMovie. Yep. Um, let's see another one. Uh, what's it called? Lucas Flummy says, "If you three were stuck on a deserted island, what would you eat? Who would you eat first? No cannibalism. We're searching for food. That's the whole point of survival. But ah, uh, no fighting, guys. Okay. Okay." Okay, uh, but anyways, no, we're not cannibals. We're not doing that. No um, thanks. I saw a comment earlier that says, where's Johnny? He's at I home. I said that already. Oh. Anyways, GC the Joker double says, did you guys try adding the big ring that around Jimmy's face? We couldn't. We couldn't find one. That's why we addressed the, the fact about his braces. Uh, I, I, they're not, I don't, that's like another mistake. What, he actually wore a retainer? Uh-huh. He no. wore a retainer. I could do the most questions. I mean, these are the best ones. Uh, Psywave says, can I make a video on your work? Yeah, yeah. review, but oh, don't, yeah. like we said before, don't, don't, pound, don't, don't pound, pound on us. Don't pound on us. Too Give hard. Too hard, yeah. You know? respect. What will, okay, Tim for Colby Galaxy says, what will happen if you cross over the Undertaker and Eddie? Uh, Probably they run away screaming uh, because this guy is dark and scary. He's an old man Eddie would, now. Eddie He's an old man scam now. Him. The guy old. He can't even fight anymore. It's, look, he probably grabs WrestleMania after WrestleMania. The guy just beats himself up. I can't even watch it, man. It's yeah. just so sad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's terrifying. Reaver my pants. Do John Redcorn, please. Okay. I have seen the spirit of Wematanya. Wematanya. It's a secret. It's a sacred, sacred spirit. Please respect it. Hey, John Redcorn. We heard your comment. Na- okay. Nando Alvarez has ever thought of making other films like Beavis and Budded? <laughs> That'd be cool. Stewart. <laughs> um, okay, um, James Bond Martini. Ooh, shake and not stirred. What are your thoughts on the Ed and Eddie Big Picture Show movie? I, I loved it as a kid. Me and Steve were with our cousin. This was 2009. Be exact. We were really little. Not little. Well, not we're really like, little. We're like, like 11 years 11 old. 11 years least. old, at least. We actually watched the Big Picture Show that was first aired. It was um, a whole marathon of Odd and Eddie episodes in the Big Picture Show. We stood up all night watching that. It was great. There was things I loved about the movie. Um, I, I liked that uh, that it was good. They had an happy ending. Um, I wish that uh, we actually got to know what was under Double D's hat. And um, for some reason, the the ending just kind of felt a bit forced. You know, there was just something. It was just like it happened too quickly. The praise happened too happened too quickly. You know, 
Uh, okay, Cinnabon 2 says, what's going on with Captain Melonhead? Apparently, we just... Now we're going to officially say it's going to be... It's not going to be dead. It's, it's not It's going to be shelved. It's going to be shelved it's for gonna a be, It's going to be delayed. Uh, it's going to be... Delayed. Like, it's going to be, uh, I'd say, pull, uh, on break. No. Delayed. It's, it's like, you know how you... Pull like uh, when you're driving the car. Of course, it's on. It's gonna be in break. It's it's not. It's still. It's not like pulled the plug officially. It's, it's delayed. Just, yeah. Delayed. It's it's going a different path right now. Uh, Hunter Iggy says monster blow up the goon. Jude Preston. Okay. Have you guys met the voice actors from N and Eddie? No. No. I wish. Nah. I wish they watched the video. I want to meet Tony Samson. Matt Hill. Sam Vincent. Darkest Hour Seven Five Seven says, "Did you guys expect more or less than the views that you gathered?" I didn't expect. I didn't expect much. Listen, I, I thought like surprise. I, I thought this video would get like forty views. Yeah, and mm -hmm. like maybe a couple likes, and uh, some people saying some mean stuff, and then that that'd be it. But no, man, we got way. We look. It was like a surprise party, you know. We just walked into like a like a ballroom, and there's like thousands and thousands it was of like, people. It's like walking into a stadium like, full was, of, uh, of screaming crowd, you know. It's it like, was like um, it reminded me of uh, for a reference Joe Dirt when he walks out of the studio and sees all these people. Cheering for him, it was like that. Yeah, for me. It, yeah, I was like, "Wow, that was a good one." Uh, Tim for Tim for Kobe Galaxy says, "Will there be a movie sequel that in any?" We explained that. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Um, if that in a year. Yep, in a year. If you are, that would be great. I'll promote your channel on the roster on my channel roster. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I actually came up with the next episode. It's called "Seize the Ed," like seize the day. Don't give out too much information, dude. Nope. nope. That's just the t that's the title right now. Okay. It if you were to create your own animated show, what inspiration from other NNA, from other than NNA would you get from from Ed the Geek Five? Sorry, um, for, did not pronounce your name first. Inspiration for me would be wait. If I do create your <laughs> my own animated show, show, I would just make it more like um, I wouldn't I would make mine a little bit more serious tone, like sort because I love shows like my favorite type of show is Miami Vice, and I like to make an animated show that's kind of like that, but a little bit of tweaks of not too dark, not too light, just in the middle. I would make something like South Park. Yeah. Maybe I'd make something like Darkwing Duck, but instead it's gonna be humans and like animals and crap like that. I don't know. Animals and stuff. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, like a, like a human as yeah. a hero yeah, yeah, and yeah. animals as a as the si sidekick. The yep. verb guy says commentary for the fan film. You're thinking of doing that, right? What was that? Like, like commentary. Like, oh like, yeah, yeah. Uh, background we're talking like, about. Yeah, how I, the actually, movie was made. I actually, I uh, actually thought about that. I actually thought yes. about doing that for the uh, the Ed Ed Eddie uh, re-edited re -ed ed, the director's cut, cut edition. Like, I'll just call it director's cut. I'll just, I thought about doing it for that, so we can like point out uh, different mistakes and like mm -hmm. scenarios or something. Yeah, or something alternate that scenes happened, like what we just could have done, what we couldn't have done. Uh, David Avila says hello from Argentina. Hi. Hello. Hold on, I like this one. Fixed image. Fifteen bucks, little oh, man. Put that money in, in my, my hand. hand. Jay and Silent Bob. <laughs> yeah. If you owe me, owe me, owe. Okay. Hey, pay you right up, Bob. Okay. <laughs> Rainbow Red Panda says, Ed, do you love gravy? I might like mashed potatoes. He has a tub of it over there in his room. <laughs> oh, man. I love... Uh, 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 I'm... Jado506, I'm going to censor the language here, buddy. Uh, or whoever you are. How much did making this film did you get? You guys get? Uh, I altered that, so I'm sorry if I didn't I say it. I actually got two. Actually, two girls commented on his video saying I'm really hot. And wait, I was wait, was it like making money? Making money? Well, we didn't no, make any. No, no. make. Listen, as, we uh, don't want money for this because you, you know, know we're just we're just, we're just trying we, to please fans. We don't we we don't want that kind of like image. You know, like we're gonna make money. We just like we made this movie just to get views to make money. No, we made this for the fans and for the fans only to watch and enjoy. And yep. Yeah. Uh, Jonathan Goodboy says, How come you made Kevin a bully when he was just a jock that's and cool and Eddie afraid of him when he, in some cases, he got into his face? We just want to try and add something new. Mm -hmm. Well, know? they're they're older now. And, yeah, um, and he still rides a bike. But, you know, that's just like... Kevin is like one of those characters that is always... Um, he, he likes to see Eddie fail. And he likes to get get in, in his way, you know. And he really doesn't like Eddie. And in the show, Eddie is quite timid of him sometimes, mm -hmm. and and he doesn't like getting in the confrontation with him because you know he can't win. So remember the picture day up, uh, the picture one where he'd like take pictures of Kevin. Yep. He did that because he knew he could get away with it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right. The, then he got his then he got his butt beat pretty good, you know. And Kevin would beat the crap out of him. Fix images. Do you like Jane Silent Bob? Yep. 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 I, I do. Uh, Alfan wants his. What does Plank have to say? 
Obviously, he can't speak. He's just silent. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, oh, he's got it. What's that, Plank? You want to say hi? He says hi, everyone. Hi, whoever's out there. Um, Sweet Kick Animations says, would you record a Tony Kinsler, a.k.a. movie? Obviously, I would try. I would love to. If I could play a simple character, I would be between number one or father. I want number is is number two the chubby number one? yeah. I want to be number two. To say that. I want to be number two. Number, I want to be number one because I kind of look like him in a way when I touch, shave your head bald. Shave my head bald. Akus shock Shogun of Shadow says shock, no, sorrows. Glasses. Okay, I'm sorry, Ryan. Aku, Shogun of Sorrows, sorry for the mispronunciation at first. So are you fans of Ed and Eddie, or did you have to introduce the show to some of the actor, all the other actors to get them familiarized with themselves, with the characters? We were fans. We were fans since. We're since. Really Luckily, um, everyone like loved the show. And like when I pitched the idea to, to them or like said, hey, do you want to do this part? They were like either like really like like happy to do it because uh, they loved the show. And uh, they are just like, yeah, I could see myself as that character. That's it, awesome. I yeah. can't wait to do it. And then... um. Uh, there was actually, you know, some people were actually really, really happy to do it, and they actually haven't seen the show. That was actually um, the Canker Sisters, except except the one that played Marie. She actually, uh, she loved that Ed and Eddie. She loved that character. Mm-hmm. And she was down for that. Um, but um, uh, uh, Lily, who played uh, Lee, and then the and Madison and May, um, May. They, they actually haven't seen Ed and Eddie because they weren't allowed to uh, watch it I as kids. They, I thought. Um... But but they they. Um, did the research before you okay. know, we filmed and they nailed it. Okay, go on. Uh, Braden Morrison's favorite episode of Eddie, Avasti Ed. I'm just going to say that quickly. Uh, Robin Ed. It changed. I like the Christmas special. Yep. Yeah, it's Christmas special. <laughs> David Patrick good. says, hey guys, give me a shout out. What's up? How you doing? Hey. Uh, Amen121998, would you guys consider making a parody of the Angry Video Game Nerd? I, w- the, I would actually nerd. ask permission for him first before I, I do anything else because I don't want to get in trouble by him. I'm a huge fan of him, by the way. I, I love his work. Big fan. Cinemasker forever. I love James Rolfe as this guy because he is funny and he knows his way of games and I would actually love to meet him. Uh, Monster City, do you guys plan to make a full movie of the Haunted Weave? What is that? Oh, oh no, that's a... Uh, that's uh, one of my trailers, my unofficial trailers. No. Sorry. Point could be Silent Bob. Yeah, it could. It was like a horror just, movie spoof. Just, just put a mustache, make a little coat, put a little cap on him. Eat yeah. my trench coat. Oh, oh Plank Silent Bob? I'm not going to say this kind of mixes. I mean, some questions, I'm sorry, I don't want to read them because what's, some... What's, what's this? I'm just going to keep that straight. What's this saying here? Yeah. I'm not gonna just skip that one. Okay. Man. Yeah, some. I apologize for skipping some questions because some questions we do not feel that's comfortable to say. We apologize in advance, or if or, it's or, in or advance, come on. all right. But come on, but please don't be a smart. Clean, keep it clean. Uh, William Idiot says, <laughs> "Did you do a party and the whole crew celebrate after the movie was done?" Well, no, nope. nope. Sorry, no. we, we got no money. Neji L F Jesus, how hard was the sound mixing and sound mixing and editing? That's oh, oh that, that's uh, that's that's me. Um, oh man, it's uh, it's stressful. You get headaches, your eyeballs hurt from looking at the screens. You know, going on the computer. That actually ripping audio, I did on my computer. So like tearing, like tearing stuff, and then like getting all the audios and downloading it, and then saving it on Google Drive, and then. Um, you know, making sh- and then like actually putting it to the video and making sure the audio is, is like, perfect. You know, to where you can hear the, the, the actors and then hear the the audio and the background and sound effects and stuff. Um, it's a lot of fun, mm-hmm. kind of challenging. Um, it, you know, it isn't like the most enjoyable thing to do at times, but yep. You know, mm-hmm. love and dedication gets you through. Yep. Zach Swaz says, what was your favorite Ed and Eddie video game? Jawbreakers, Misadventures, or Scam of the Century? Misadventures. 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 Yep. Let's move on with that one. Uh, Fernando Austria, how much do y'all bench? I think... I can bench like oh, almost 200 pounds. I bench 150. I don't know, dude. I try. There's muscle in here. I, I work at a firewood lot and I throw around like 150 one? pound logs and stuff. Game Life Human. Game Blade... Life Human said Blade Runner was good in Top Gun. There you go. Blade Runner is my favorite movie. Okay. 
Uh, let me just keep my Carol A2 says, you guys ever wear your Ed and Eddie, Ed, Ed, Ed and Eddie costumes out in public just for funsies? No. No, no dude. We had to do it for no. business. It's, it's, well, it, it wasn't business. It was just It filming. was the most it, awkward thing I had to face my whole life. I yep. feel like an idiot walking on my hair like that, wearing two polos in 90 degree weather, and people like looking at you, and you're going in the gas station, you're like, hey, we said we're going to make a movie, guys, okay? So everyone gets, It felt stupid. It felt and, so And then you go to the strange. park and stuff, and people are trying to play kids are trying to play you know parents are like what the hell are those kids doing exactly they look, you know? at, they look at us funny yeah um home says have, have you, you got, got, heard of the ed and eddie death theory where they are all dead since there's no parents around that's just creepy pasta yeah it's creepy pasta i read it and then i, I don't also believe it. it's uh, like a conspiracy theory aka cartoon it is Inc., who theory. is uh danny antonucci's company show i saw a picture on facebook it says about double d the uh, sticky notes it's because his parents is dead, and I see a picture of Double D crying. That basically made me uncomfortable for the whole day. I was like, "This is disturbing." Carlos, well, Duenas- well, those are just theories. It's not official, you know. So like, what's Stop. under underneath Stop. Double D's hat? You know, you it's mean, just well, it's not official. Hat, so like, making yeah. a fan movie, we can only take we we can only make what, what is fact, you know. Yep. Carlos Gomez says we make an NNA soundtrack. Fortunately, yeah, we do. We yeah, we do. do. Yeah, it's it's um, it came before the movie. Yep. <laughs> um, Jonathan Good, Bo- Good Boy says, "If Ed and Eddie were core characters, who would they be?" Jason Voorhees, because Ed, Ed is tall and he can—he has the strength of like, I don't know what. Um, Eddie would more be. Oh, I'm thinking. I think Eddie would have been Freddy Krueger. Yeah, because he, well, he has like think that, about it. He has that laugh. He's like oh. <laughs> kind of laugh. Can't, Nobody would be like one Hannibal of the. Hannibal Lecter. What? Yeah, because he can he can <laughs> scam smart. people. Yeah. yeah. I'd say Double D would have been a mad, mad scientist. Like no, nah, besides that, or Pinhead. No, no. I, I thought like I thought um, Double D would be like Hannibal Lecter because he's smart, brilliant. I'd say yeah, Double D would have been Hannibal Lecter. Uh, man, I like. I want to be Leatherface. I want to be Pinhead. Leather, um, or either uh, Chop Top or Freddy Krueger, something like that. But probably Chucky. He'd be Chucky. He'd oh, be Chucky. Yeah. Eddie would be Chucky. Uh. That man, who's better, Sega or Nintendo? No competition there. No Sorry, that was the ni- I mean, it was the 90s, but Sega... Start reading questions that only pertain to the movie. Okay. Uh, hey, so the little town you guys filmed the movie, is that your real hometown? Yep. Only the cul-de-sac, the ending of it, when we're walking away, that was not. That was actually in some other Dude, town. that's a half hour away from where we live. So if you notice, um, we like we film and we're, we look like it's like in farmlands and stuff. You know, that's because that's where we live. That's... That's that's our town, and then like you see the cul-de-sac, you know, mm-hmm. the the two shots you see of the cul-de-sac, that that was that's like a half hour away. <laughs> yep. Okay. JC the Joker double J- seven says question for Plank: How hard was it getting your part down? It was pretty hard making him. Obviously, yeah. His, I mean, he's a person. You know, we got the real Plank. Um, his part, he he um he just looked and just smiled. <laughs> well, he looked at John. He looked at Joe and. This, yeah, it was believable. It was believable. Just, yeah. just one word. He nailed it. Game Life Human says, "Go to WWE match dressed as Eddie and Eddie." Oh my gosh! I, mean, what's I would laugh up there. I left. I love it. Yep. Uh, oh, I Blade Runner Dying Darko. So do I. Yep. SB says, "Is this live? You're right here." Yes, we're live right here. Oh, uh, I'm not gonna answer that with a ten foot pole. Which Sorry. one? Which Ed is most likely one to shoot his school? Ernesto Gomez Bolanos. That's a question I'm not gonna ask. Sorry. Uh, next Maybe question. Eddie. Because <laughs> yeah. Eddie, of all the scams, well, like out of all the people, everyone hates Eddie. Everyone hates Eddie. Like yeah, like, he'd be like, the one to like, be pissed off. Like every character is just kind of like an a hole to Eddie for some reason. Even mm-hmm. like Ralph, like when he like they're trying to get like the badges. Yeah, oh yeah, like, major. Oh, Hold like, on, do the no. Remember the Rangers episode? Mm-hmm. Um, but, um, is my this one? What? No. He no Eddie does this. I, Eddie does no, that. No, yeah, it's this. It's yeah. Oh, I got it. All right. So then I do this. And which one's one of the finger this time? It's this hand. Yep. Anyways, uh, Yavier Cortez says, if you had a bigger budget, would you make a live action version of Ed and Eddie's Big Picture Show? Maybe. No. No, I scratched. Listen, I scratched. Listen, I forgot. A, a, My adapting no. adapting episodes or adapting stuff that's already out there. You know, that's just not what we want to do because we're 19 years old now. And it would just be ridiculous if we were trying to like recreate an entire episode, and they're supposed to be chi- chi- like children, you know? Mm-hmm. Like that'd, that'd just be ridiculous. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it might be human. Who's y'all's favorite wrestler? I like I like the Undertaker. Undertaker's mm-hmm. my favorite. 
John Cena. John Cena! Okay, Fixed Image says... Will you confirm or deny the rumors that you guys are making a Jane Sound Bob movie with Kevin Smith? I deny that. Sorry. No. We're not making that, dude. Um, your thought on why there's no women directing movies? I'm not going to answer that. Sorry. Sorry. Women directing movies? I don't know. I don't know. Ferb guy says least favorite edited episode. What is it? I don't recall. Maybe. I don't. I like why didn't you watch the show? Any least favorite episodes? Uh, let's. I'm trying to read more questions. Is uh, uh, instant XD one eleven says I shared my I shared on my Facebook. How many days did it take to film? About two months. So that's about sixty days. And we 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 filmed we filmed sixty one. We filmed like maybe we filmed maybe three days out of the week though because we were just like so busy with our own schedules, you know. So, um, maybe three days out of a week we we would actually film. Sebastian Stars says, "Would you do another live action film? And what would it be?" The sequel. Da, 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 that's next year. Yeah. Um. T Dunn says, "Hey, it's my birthday. Can you say happy birthday, please? Happy, happy birthday. birthday! Happy birthday!" Uh, J Man Gamer ninety says, "If you guys could would try a Scooby Doo movie, who would you cast?" I want to be the voice of Scooby. Yeah. <laughs> Fred, come on, gang, let's go. I'd be Shaggy. So like Scoob. Like man, well, I could really use an ice cream sandwich. Well, actually, yeah. Actually, I'll but do the like the, the body, body work while you do the voice. That'd work. Yeah. Cold R five hundred five says, "Whose five dollars was that in the movie?" That was mine, <laughs> that man. Was his. Listen, the five dollars uh, you see in, in the five dollars you see in the car, and the five dollars you see when I show the ads in the porch, it's a different five dollars. I needed to buy a bur- like something to eat that day. Carlos Gomez, <laughs> yeah, but Carlos Gomez says, "Can you guys improv on the spot? You're looking at improv masters from high school." Mm-hmm. Yeah, will we improvise then? I don't know. Uh, Rep, 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 Pants, I have another question. End of the part at the end part of the movie when you're eating jarbreak and somebody says, "Hey, weren't these bigger when you were younger?" Does that mean you're a bit old into film? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. dude. Like uh, it's like, 2017. It, the, the the film takes place in two, yeah 2017, and um um um. Yeah, there's a couple like references like to yep. them being older. Mm-hmm. Ace Styles says, "Where are y'all located to film at NA? It was at our own hometown in Michigan." Mm-hmm. Not gonna explain it. I'm not gonna. Oh, Carlos going to explain his mainstream. Mainstream as in you'll be on a major network or production. Somebody for this guy. It's just that's him. I hope so. It'll be awesome. Un- okay, Sh- a- Aku Shogun Osaro says, "Unrelated to the film, but do you guys worry for Ed due to all the tensions going on in the world right now? Since he's going to the U.S. Navy, thanks for your service by the way. Thank you for supporting. Thank this, you. Yep, I'm I'm ready. I'm I'm ready for him." And what about I'm, you? Dude, listen. I'm not ready for him to leave, this, though. I'm going to be so sad. This is my best friend, dude. Mm-hmm. He's my and twin. And it, it, it like, like, scares me, like, in the back of my mind that he's not going to, like, be here, you know? It's going to be tough. Like, it's it scares me that, like, he's not going to be here. He's going to be somewhere else. And, um, you know, but it's what he wants to do. And I uh, support him 100%. And... You know, no matter how scary or how dangerous I think it's going to be, and you know, and yeah. I want him to. Uh, I just want. I just want him to yeah. be happy. Yeah, mm-hmm. thank, I, I'm happy for you guys too. Gayflag means says thank you, brothers. Much love from the Navy. Love you. Uh, Ernesto Gomez says God bless the Marines. Yep. God bless them. Uh, let me see other questions. Uh, same thing. How days did it take you to film? Two months, basically. Um, Phil a Bayon, if I pronounce it, I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce it right. Would you guys love or hate an Eddie Eddie reboot that continue where the series ended? I if they get if they had the material right, the voice acting right, and, and the, the whole, animation, and the animation right, I'd be completely fine. If they I'd be jack fine. it up, no thanks. Like and, they did do uh, Teen if, Titans if, Go. If it's the same, power, maybe better power. quality, you know. Yep. But other than that, I... fixed image from the Washington Post. My next question is: Do you guys miss the old Pontiac Silverdome? I've been there when I was a kid. I've like, been there when I was a kid. Well, obviously it was torn down. My but you know when I was like. I don't know how old I missed. It. I missed it. Uh, Cold R Five says Danny should make your movie into a special episode. If he does that, that would be actually really cool. <laughs> and he sends, uh, I would be, so, I would be, pro- I would be actually really honored if he actually sends us the episode this and was, animation. This next question is for me for Ryan Bremforder. I'm sorry if I pronounced that. What um, what job did you sign up for in the Navy? I got aviation. I'm an airman. It's it's a cool job. Um, uh, some questions. Uh, have you, David Patrick? Have you guys seen the Ed in any episode called "The Eds Are Coming"? Yep. Yep. Mark's Lab. Would you sell Plank on eBay when the time comes? Maybe. No. Nope. He's gonna be behind. 
Uh, he'll be on display, Kirk though. Kirk Cousins, what the fuck? Okay. What, who is this? Vic Simmons says, Ed Group to become Kirk Cousins. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We got, uh, we got a lot of friend requests now. Red, yeah, oh, we, my God. We love we the fan stuff. Rear Red Panda says, where do you guys live? Just wondering. Michigan. No. Oh, Mich- oh, okay. It's just Michigan. Okay, Michigan. <laughs> um, Amen12998 says, does Ed seem like the kind of guy who would enjoy playing Doom? Okay, real life fact. Doom is one of my favorite games, especially the new remake, because that's the stuff you cannot do in the original ni- in the 1993 or 4 one. I just love doing the glory kills. That's what I do. Just punch, kick, whatever. Phil Abyss says, who owned that car who used in the fan film? This guy right here. Oh, my. I like David Patrick's thing. No, don't stop playing. He is rare from the show. He's not for sale. He is, it'll be on display. We're going to need him for the next movie. We're going to need him for the next movie. And, and then Captain, Captain Mel and And Captain Mel and DBZ Life. 420 favorite 90s cartoon? I got th- four. Yeah. I'll, I'll list them. The Tick. Uh, X-Men. Recess. And of course, South Park Beavis and Butthead. And most of all, Darkwing Duck. Rock with Modern Life. That and Coon 2. Ren Stimpy, Beavis mm-hmm. and Butthead, X-Men. Uh, Ed and Eddie, of course. I also, mean, uh, uh, we can't explain them all because we gotta pick up more questions more times. I and, like Spider Man. Oh, I love Spider Man. Spider-Man. Yep, yeah, me too. Um, Chris Bandicoot says, "Can I can I have a Jawbreaker?" Of course you can. Of course. We'll go to the store. We'll go to the store and get you one. Yep. <laughs> uh, John Good Voices, I'll give you an invisible nickel if you give me a shout out. Shout out to you, buddy. Shout out to you, pal. Uh, watching the movie made me really happy. My question is, do you play Dungeons & Dragons? No. No, sorry. No. I no wish. wish. I wish. We're not that dorky. No, if we're in Stranger... If we did the Stranger Things... DBZ Life 420 yeah. says, yeah. favorite Courage episode? King oh, Ramesses. King's Ramesses Curse. Turn the slab. That is the freakiest episode I have ever seen in my life. I like Freaky... Fr- the, well, the one Freaky, Freaky Fred. Freaky Fred. Naughty. Oh, Muriel. And I, I like and I like the one... Uh, where, where the, there's some pigs and they're like uh, making a burger out of uh, oh. Eustace's head. Oh, I know head. that one. Yeah, I, also but like... I love that one. It's creepy. I like pig heads are freaky. Like on people. No, the one weird. I also thought that was really creepy was the uh, one middle of Vandals and the one where he's in the in the Courage in the Big Stinking City with that weird creepy clay animation. Clay girl. And like the, the Hunchback in order to Cre- Yep. Oh, Creo A2 says, do any of you cosplay go to conventions? This past yes. year we all went as uh, X-Men. Yeah. Uh, this year, I'm actually thinking not about the, doing the movies. The movie versions, the movie not version. the comic versions. I'm actually, versions, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do Green Hornet this year. Uh, hold on, let me think here. I have cosplay videos on this channel, so mm-hmm. like, like, you can look at those. I mean, I review like action Ec- figures yep. and collectibles and cosplay, all that. Yep. Equus Twenty One. Aaron B says, "Has anyone ever recognized you three in public for your fan film?" Not, Not yet. yet. Not yet. I'm Dude, waiting. a lot of people, a lot awesome. of people question me because they're going to boot camp the same time as I am. I'm pretty darn sure they're going to recognize um, me. Some fans actually chatted with me on Facebook, and I, of course, I chatted back because I like hearing from fans. But I'm waiting for. People, some people actually catch me like, "Hey, you're the guy who played Double D." I'm like, I, I, I thought about yeah. that. I like, I was like, I was like, it would be cool if like, someone's like, "Hey, you were in that Ed and Eddie fan film." I'm like, yeah, it was. Game Life Human says, "What's your name again on Facebook?" I try to add you so you can see the rest of the artists on my face. All the artists on my Facebook. Okay, you start off. Presto Corn. Presto. C O R N. Capital P R E S T O space capital C O R N. Mine is Steve Ulinski. Capital S. Of course, T E V E, and you know, spell Steve, and Yulinski, capital U L I N S K I. Mine is Ryan Yulinski, capital R Y A N, uh, and then U L I N S K I. And my social security number. Don't say oh. it! That's classified info! Shh, quiet. Okay, uh. uh I'm sorry if it's all loud. Uh, let me think. Of- Rock a power, power movie? movie from Mark's Lab? That's a tough one. I mean, we have to be in Hawaii for that. Cy Wynn says, are you guys going to do another 2018? Yep. Yep, next year. Uh, Teen Titans are back on. Uh, We're getting so many friend requests and stuff. Yep. Yep, thank you. Oh, my God. Yep. I'm actually telling you, boy. Uh, Jesus, this was an awesome kid. Dan, Dana Ali triplets. Let's just say he's our long lost one. <laughs> Uh, Aku <laughs> Shogun of Shotguns, do you guys know a show called Tamar Jack? Yes! Yeah. Love, show Love it! Kid. Okay, um... 
epic, really epic. Uh, I'm sorry if I skip all our questions because really, you guys are starting to complain. I'm really sorry. I really, we really are sorry. Give us actually. questions about the film itself, or yeah, I just what the yeah, we want to answer questions about the film you may have, like anything. Blake, Blake should ask like about about about, about uh, mainly about the film, you know. Any, what, anything you wonder? What class? What questions do you have for Blink? Any any concerns? You know, anything you you think? Um, yeah, whatever. Um, uh, I see a bunch of questions from many people. Like, what video games do we like to play? Doom, Call of Duty, Street Fighter, uh, and flight simulator games. Guitar Hero. Yep, that's it. All Assassin's right. Creed. That's my favorite. Would you guys, uh, comedy, uh, I'm sorry for uh, skipping a lot of questions because you, you guys are pouring in like wildfire. I mean, this is amazing. I know you people want to know. And uh, it's the same questions over and over again, just repeated. So, our jawbreaker, fill up in a jawbreaker, candy? Yep. Somewhat, yeah, but I'm more, was, into, I'm more into M&M's. I, li I like hard caramels. I like Reese's Pieces. Okay, I'm sorry for the, this one's a, a depart question from DB, DBZ Live 420. Who would win a fight, Godzilla or Jaeger Pacific Rim? Okay, let me, let's review the facts. Pacific Rim, because they're way taller than Godzilla. They're going to no, be squished. No, I want Godzilla to win. I want Godzilla. Well, it's Godzilla has his atomic breath. He has his tail. He has his roar. He's actually bigger than Pacific Rim. Jonathan Christian, who's a real Slim Shady? Please stand up. That's you, Ryan. That's me. <laughs> uh, Javier Cortez, can you do voice impersonations of other characters? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, Bava. The only reason for making honey is so I can eat it. <laughs> honey. Um. Do one more if you can. Yeah, you we'll do, let's do two weeks. Shake my balls. Screw you guys. I'm going home. Hey, get out of here, fat ass. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to think of here. Hey, baby. How's it going? Um, and then, uh, <laughs> I can, I'm going to ask you the same question, too. Why are you still here? Oh, Muriel! Muriel! Oh. Hey, oh. it was my turn. Good things I okay. do for love. Oh, uh, uh, I am the justice. I am Darkwing Duck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hello, Gotham. Uh, Joker's back in uh, town. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, come down. <laughs> okay. Hello, <laughs> operator. I think my phone could be disconnected. <laughs> Okay, okay, man, you, you, you Shogun of Sorrows. When did Ed learn he wanted to serve in the United States Navy? Double D learned when he started acting. Let's well, start off. Well, you said first, I mean, the United States Navy. I've been wanting to serve in the military since I was a very little kid. I like, I want to start in radiology because I actually want to help people and I like taking pictures and I just like the equipment and the use of it. And I also like radiation itself. It's pretty cool. So, like before I found theater, there was just like always something like, empty my life and then like I always kind of like had like this like I was just always kind of like depressed for like like no reason and then um it was because uh theater and, and acting just wasn't in my life and then uh when I did my first play it was just like it was like fun being somebody else you know or or, or like not you know and then like you know doing something and like 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 acting it's just like incredible and then like I was like man I can't live without this yep you Phil advances I'll give you all 25 cents if you deb that's Point. 25 cents, but it's okay. Dab for blank. Uh, JJ asked us, why aren't y'all making more videos? We don't have time we don't right have now. Time. Dude, like, do you know how hard it is to make videos? Look, tough. okay, we can't just pull this crap out of our butt, man. He's got college coming up. He's already got college, and I'm about to go to boot camp for Navy. Yeah, dude. Uh, would you do another live action from Great Cross? Yep. Yep. Uh, Fabian Kelly says, who are you guys? I am. Who are we? He's Preston. I'm Steve. This is Ryan. Uh, yep. Absolutely. Devin D, my advice rocks. Thank you. Okay. Um, Let's in real life, who owns all those comics and in the movie? We did. Well, he owns comics too, but like he. I own this. I, I own a Sin City one. But I mean. Yeah, but I'm, still. I, you know, I, I, I have some of those. I have uh, Sin City, uh, the Hard Goodbye and Dame to Kill for over there with V for Vendetta and Watchmen. I also collect Inhumans because I that's my favorite comic. We're series. all geeks. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. We Black, love, we love Black Bolt's my favorite hero. JJ Ashes, I can give y'all a shout out on Instagram. What y'all Instagram? Mine is uh, Stevie Linsky if you look me up. I don't have an Instagram. I'm sorry. I wish I do. I don't have Instagram. I don't have it. Just Jonah, follow him. Jonah Christian says, can you touch your toes? Yes, I can, but I can't do it right now because we're sitting. We're reading your I, stuff. I, I can touch my toes too. Thank you very much. With my knees straight. <laughs> <laughs> Um, same questions like, uh, like, what do you want? Like, why did you want to do the movie? Um, somebody asked, the director's cut is the edit, edit, edit edition to the movie. Yep, it is. Mm -hmm. 
Well, it's the Ed and Eddie. It's the re Ed. It's Ed, it's, Ed with two D's. Mm -hmm. Eddie edition. Get it like Ed, Ed and Eddie, but Ed, re edited edition. Lucas Flemmy says, "Do you have any favorite actors?" I actually have three. Oh, just well, just can we stick to one? Stick to one. Okay, stick my, to number one. Well, my favorite actor. Actor and actress. Let's go with that. Actor oh, would man. be Jake Gyllenhaal. Actress would be Jennifer Connelly. Actor for me. Uh, this is a tough one. Uh, Chris Pine from the new Star Trek movies. Um, and favorite actress, I'm still debating on this one, so please, I apologize. Uh, either Daisy Ridley from Star Wars or Zoe Deutsch from Why Him. Okay. And it's funny because I, I actually wrote to Zoe Deutsch and asked her if she can go to the Navy ball with me someday. Hopefully. I love but Scarlett let's... Johansson. She's beautiful. Yep. She's she's a very talented actress as well. Oh yeah. Uh, Black Widow and in mm -hmm. her in her um chef, I love her um. Love her in that. That was good. And then, um, uh, favorite actor of all time is John Candy. Oh, John yeah, Candy, good classic. He's good. Uh, Zach Swass says we were only ones your classic ki as kids to watch Ed, Ed and Eddie. Uh, when I was in school, I felt like everyone was else was on. Yeah, we watched the show. Yeah, I I believe so. Yeah. Uh, Phil Abayan says, "What do you all think the best game you guys have done?" Best game we have done. No, the one from the TV one show. From the TV show. Yeah, oh, the oh, cartoon. Oh. I don't know. I like the cruise line the best. The cruise line is my favorite. Or the uh, I'd also like the mon. I think didn't they do a monster movie? Oh, yeah. Edzilla. I like I like the one where they made the fake town for uh for Ralph. Oh like, yeah, like, yes. <laughs> oh that for, like he's in like yeah. uh, like the Europe setting, like like they're oh, acting in his hometown. Yeah, they they that was a good one. What was the name of the episode where uh, Double D made Ed a, a monster costume? I'll look know. it up later. That, 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 that was that, that was, was, was my, that was that a was scary one. one. Like a man that. one two nineteen eighty eight. How'd you get five dollars and quarters? Everybody had to pay a quarter on the set. Well, it was, it was just a I, I, I get a lot of quarters uh, from, from tips at work. I know. Cheapskates. Um, yep. But, no, usually I have to split my tips with people, so, you know. Crowbar2119 says, would you guys ever Crow consider... 20. Crow, oh, I'm sorry, Crow, I'm sorry. 219 says, would you guys ever consider collaborating with one of us? Whatever you guys are working on, and if we approve, we're going to do it. Um, this message. I can I consider it, but at this point, there's just so many people that want to collaborate. Yeah, you know, and it's, it is it. just kind of hard to like keep up with everyone. I I try as much as I can. You know, people ask me to like Someone watch their videos. Someone says what you and, and all that stuff, and, and I do. No Star Wars film, Star Wars film. You know, it's just it's becoming like kind of overwhelming. You know. Phil um, Abian says favorite Star Wars movie. Go. Sorry for the cough, Preston. Empire Strike Empire Strike Strike Back. Return of the Jedi or Force Force Awakens. Yeah, a new, a new a new hope and Force Awakens. Okay, next what, what, was, what was what was the new one? I like Rogue One. That's Rogue, a good Rogue one, one is good also. Like Jonah Christian says, "How many looks does it take to get to the center of a tootsie pop?" Ah, uh, sorry. How many looks does it take to get to the center of a tootsie pop? Oh, Let's uh, find out. A one, a two, a three, a three. The that Broadway is. Broadway never, never know. know. Um, let me think here. Hi, Plank. Can you, Rima says, so green or red pants, can you guys each do your own voice version of Hank Hill or Inner Courage Cowley Dog? Well, we did it just about almost an hour ago, so. Crow2119 says, do you guys have Instagram, Facebook, Twitter? We have Facebook. Facebook and Twitter. Facebook. Facebook, Facebook Twitter. mostly, but Facebook mostly. Yeah. Steve Ulinski, Presto Corn, and Ryan Ulinski. I'll, I'll answer, I'll, an, I'll reply to them later so you guys can know. Yeah, when this, when I'll answer live feeds questions, done. comments, anything. Oh, that boy just ain't Wait. right. Yep. Let me think here. Should, that boy. Miguel Sanchez says, "Do you think you, should Ed and Eddie be brought back to Car Adult Swim or Cartoon Network?" Yes. Yeah, they should. But Ed, uh, on Adult Swim, maybe. Same way Jack was added to Adult Swim. Oh, yeah, dude, they could just play the shows like yeah, and, like, like just like, reruns and yeah, yeah. Just reruns would be Cartoon fine. Network or Adult Swim. It don't matter to me. I just want to see Ed and Eddie on TV again. Okay. Oh, some guy wants to do the like, t talk to the nerd about this about our movie, James Rolfe, the nerd. Yes, oh, please. Sweet. Okay, Thank Equus you. Two One Aaron B. That's your new job or assignment if you can try to get yeah, James Rolfe into definitely. this. Definitely, I would love to hear. Yeah, I would love to hear what he says. Um, Philip Bynes says, "Have you guys heard of the Edenary Purgatory Theory?" Yep. Yeah. Yeah, like it's just a theory. Jonah Christian, <laughs> man, like you'll love your comments and questions. Who let the dogs out? Who? 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 <laughs> okay, Twidget, smiley face. What are these guys doing then, Eddie? We are the actors in the live action film. That's we're, all we got to say. We're fans. We're big. We're just fans. 
Let me get some. Uh, King, Hold on, let me see. King Dee 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 says, can you guys do the special ed episode? Which which special episode? Special oh, Ed. There was special there, Ed there, there, episode. There, there, there was, a, there was, a, there was I, an I, episode that was uh, canceled because it was because uh, Ed that. Danny Anchnuti said it was too real and it was called Special Ed. We've never seen it. I've I want to see it. I I don't know if there's any like some kind of like uh, uh, secret release of it or something anywhere. Yeah. Like, I I want to see it though. I remember one episode where. Ed is like all hip and stylish. Swaggity swag, what's in the bag? <laughs> that episode, yeah. I'm... Swiggity swag, what's, what's in, in the bag? bag? Okay, yeah, um... like the, I call it the vanilla ice episode because it's already my dream. Hey, swiggity swag, what's, what's in, in the bag? bag? Crow two one one nine says, "What is your what would your guys' reaction be when if the creator of Ed passed away?" I would cry. I tip my hat. I'd, I would I'd tip be my hat, tipping my hat and, cry. and crying my eyes out. Okay, uh, give me a second. Give me a second. We're getting, we're getting good compliments from people. Thank you, God. Okay, Zachary Salido. I do not like that comment about which one of the brothers is gay. We're not. We're straight. I'm That's straight. all we're gonna say. Anybody I'm ask straight. us if we're gay? No, we're straight. Nope, we're I'm just straight. best friends. I'm already I'm talking st- to a girl. I'm straight. We're st- I'm, I'm already talking I'm to straight. a girl. Same as I. I've talked to a lot of girls. Same yep. as I. So if you ever think of commenting on us <laughs> being gay, you might want to rethink that, Buster. <laughs> if someone says I'm gay, I'm just gonna straight up say this. I- Go after yourselves. Oh, okay, okay, thanks. A- I'm not going to say the word, but I would literally say that in front of the Jeez, person. Jeez, man. God, okay. We're not gay. Are you mad? De- okay. Yeah, enough. That's not funny. I hate yep. it. Are you mad? Demore Gorgon says, are you planning to add Eddie's brother? Sometime, yes. Maybe, yeah, if we can find the it, right it, person. If we just don't want to add him to add him, you know? That, like, yep. maybe a story, if, if it's appropriate and it makes sense and he's there, not just because to be there but you know there because oh, I answer this one which one favorite scary movie from memoir vacation friday the 13th texas chainsaw massacre original hellraiser uh no wait that and the exorcist uh give me a second i'm trying to find a good, good, good question jj ashley hey give me a shout out what's up jj ashley how you hey, doing yeah. <laughs> You're such a goof. Sorry. You're such a... Um, John Denver. <laughs> okay, you know what? Skip his question. That's Take just me rude. Home. That's just rude. Yeah. What did he say? No. No. Oh, what the okay. fuck? Okay. Like I said about the gay questions and uh, like I said about the gay questions yeah, whatever, and dude. stuff. Whatever. Yeah. We're not. We're not gay. I'm just gonna We're say straight. it just, straight. Just, I'm just, talking to a girl just don't, If you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. Exactly. You know, dude, it's not don't funny. Even, don't even get mad. People are gonna say stupid stuff anyway. Of course. Yeah, are, that's what they do. Dude, whatever. We're, 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 Crow we're, two one one nine says, "Have you guys seen the live action movie of Toy Story?" I've never heard of it. Dude, I've I've uh, seen so. I've I've seen bits and pieces. I was it know. good? I, I, was I, a... It's a, it's, it's pretty. It's 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 um it's different. It's good though. Uh, okay. Um. Um, um, I'm trying to think. I'm sorry. I'm trying to read a good question from this movie. Or two hours later, <laughs> Coden. So what's gonna happen in the sequel? We can't tell much. We're oh, it's just um, the ads are going with uh, teenage adversities. You know, uh, growing up, um, Eddie having to grow up because, and then like the ads, um, you know, they're they're going to college or something something like that simple mm-hmm. Medusa Oros has ever played football what Medusa Oros has ever played football I mean with pads and on a team we did back in middle school and high school until yeah, senior year then we decided the, to take up acting because football kind of dropped us because our, co- our coach was a jerk I was in marching band because I like playing instruments I was a, I was a pretty good nose guard <laughs> I, was a good, I was a good wide receiver mm. catch the ball mm. and I was a good drummer so hooray Gaster says hello I'm from Russia wave the hand what's up how you doing um, if anybody says hi from anywhere in the world, we'll give you a hi. Um, oh, not everyone's gonna be saying where they're at. Exactly. Oh, great. I got time for that. Okay, I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find it. Doctor Wolf said, "Can you could you do the voice of Eddie and other characters?" Yes, you can. We just did him. Like, man, I could really use an ice cream sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, Jimmy boy, I'll help you get your pal back for a quarter. Oh, Muriel, Muriel, the things I do for love. Oh, oh, Bava. King Didi posted the cam. Sure. 
at your post. Okay. Max Robert. Hi from Italy. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, Jonah Christian, does Plank have wood? Of course he's made out of wood. What do yeah, you doing? He's got wood, man. He's got wood. Ask the ladies. <laughs> uh, let me just try and think. Uh, this guy N one S C four R. This is called NASCAR. You guys like NASCAR? Do you guys like NASCAR? I love yep. it. And besides, if I was a filmmaker, I would love to make a like a kind of like a Days of Thunder film, but I like, like a like a like a drama sort of film like NASCAR set in the eighties. I would love. But to here's our, like but here's our budget though. We have some Hot Wheels on and uh, fishing wire. There you go. Oh. And then filming uh, filming the cock filming the uh, the cockpit scenes. I don't know how to put it in the driver's seat. You know, like in Days of Thunder. Probably my car. Driving in your car, yeah, with a helmet on and the visor down or something. I don't know. That would be funny though. Oh man. That'd be awesome. Uh, yeah, it would be so cool. Stupid. Um, righteous set, righteous. I, that makes sense. Um, I want to do an NA film fan for a while. What was it like? Trying. Well, how do I put it? It was challenging. Challenging. You have to get. The, you have to get the right chemistry. You have to get the right chemicals to make the chem to make the chemistry set work. It's a it's headache. Like a yeah, it's a headache. It's it, a big it, headache. It's, it's a headache. It's work, but you. But I. I love. I love doing it. I love the. I love the writing. I love the editing. I love the directing. Uh, I like uh, casting people, and um, just when like you know, I feel like, oh man, we gotta get this done. I don't feel like doing it anymore. And then like people show up in costumes and stuff, and they're ready to go. It's like, oh my gosh, it's like it's the adrenaline I need to just keep going. And then like my love and dedication, and see other people that are uh, willing and, and mm -hmm. really dedicated. Uh, to get in this movie on YouTube, it's just, it's just, um, it, uh, it warms my heart, you know? Yep. Shogun, Aku, uh, Shogun of Sorrows, do you guys think the Ed and Eddie fan base is still alive and kicking? Do you guys recommend reading Ed and Eddie fan fiction or not? Now, that's a good question. Um, um, I actually did read one fan fiction story that actually brought to me by surprise was called Watch Ed, which is based <laughs> off of Watchmen. It was actually pretty interesting. I I don't remember yep. who was who, but it was just really interesting. I'm like, that's really nice. What? Do you, Carter Bahon, do you guys like JJBA? What's that? I don't know. JJBA. I'm sorry. I don't think it's... No, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. J I did this, but, oh, man, don't even say that. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not saying it. Oh, is it. What is it? Is it something bad? I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, Medusa or uh, next question. Did you ever had to do rehearsal before filming? No. No. Uh, I, I mean, I mean, we probably right. practice the voices on our own. Like I'll be driving, looking like a madman. Hey, shut up! Hey, what's up, bundle bro? Ha <laughs> ha! Suckers. Okay, Scott West has shot me out. What's up? How what you doing? Uh, Jonah Christensen, Michigan isn't that cool. Well, you never been there, so obviously you don't know. That's, that's pretty cool, man. Yeah, it is. It's nice. Four it's seasons nice. and stuff, you know. Okay, I'm gonna skip some skip some questions, cause Crow two one one nine. What city, of Michigan, are you guys from? If you guys can tell us. The Macomb area. Macomb just, County we're we're area. Just, we're in the Macomb we're just, County area. We ain't gonna get much. Um. I don't know. I mean, these questions keep going on. Uh, David Patrick, you want osmosis? You got osmosis. Love that movie as a kid. That's a good movie. How old, Cav that how old is Double D? 19. We're all 19. We're all 19, but back then he would have been like 10, maybe 12. What? Double D in the cartoon. Yeah. He was so, like so what, the old. show ended in 2009, right? Yep. So we're, we were 18 in the movie, and probably in the sequel we'll, we'll be probably older. play 18 again or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, yeah, so... So how old were they back then? Beats me. Probably around 11. 11 12, 13 11, maybe. 11, yeah, you know, preteen. Preteen, early teen. So they go to junior high, so it's about that so, so it's about so it's about the right age, you know. <laughs> okay, uh Aku Shogun Stars is damn you guys are the true and bony event in any real life. God bless the Navy, Army, Marines, and please return safe and sound. Thank you. I will come home safe and sound. I promise you that. Quincy Rogers, have you guys ever met Danny and Tanucha Creator? On, On Facebook. Facebook. Well, yeah. And he said he loved the movie. Yep. Yep. <sighs> The head of okay, Yarpy, Varpy Garpin. The head of discipline. Do you live in a cave? Obviously Do you live not. in a cave? Obviously not. Um, I actually like this. This dude's comment says, "Silver Boy or the movie It." It. Game life, human. Yep. It. Okay. Um, Ace does. Would you consider doing a more mature, adult-rated version of Ed and Eddie? Obviously not. This is all. No, family. not too. Not now. 
No, no. Um, like like I said, like in the in the sequel, they're going to be a little more grounded. It's still the feeling of it's still going to be whimsical and and uh, faithful to the uh, the atmosphere of the the cartoon. Cousins, honestly. Tomahawk plays. Hey, Preston, it's me. Hey, what up, Zach? What Hi, up, buddy? Man? How you doing? Yeah, we were at the fair today. It was pretty fun. <laughs> King Didi, how many references were made in the movie that wasn't from the show? How many references? Yeah, oh, how many lot? references that were well, that were in the oh. The cat, my favorite reference was the when Johnny two by four bought the rock and that were that were in the show, that yeah from the show that were that the the, the question was say that was in the show that wasn't from the show that, okay all that wasn't from the show my mistake that wasn't from the show okay well there were a lot of references from the show but um it's 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 original the the our uh, movie is 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 original it's it's an original episode we didn't copy like any like episodes um. We have like like moments that were kind of like recreated, like the part where Eddie like, I mean Ed like um puts Eddie in a, in a chokehold, you know, and he's like, hey, let me go, you know. I didn't plagiarize it word for word. I just kind of like, um, yep. like like paraphrased it, you know, and um just just so like it's a Easter egg to the fans, and the Eds are the same, and they still haven't changed, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. Yeah. We got three minutes. So we got to wrap this up quickly. We, yep, I'm I'll, sorry. I'll, I promise you all this. I will write reply on your comments or questions, whatever is necessary. Maybe we could probably do some more uh, Q and A feeds. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, possibly. You know, it'll be you know, it'll be fun too. JJ asks this question for all three of y'all. Are y'all going somewhere in life like success? Yep. Yep. Uh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We were at Panda, obviously saw your channel. Says I love the Beast from X Men. He was the Beast for it Halloween. Beast. We did Beast for. Um, he was. Wolverine, I was Cyclops, and then Tomahawk plays, which is his cousin. Yeah, he, that was he was a uh, Quicksilver. And then our buddy Josh from high school was, was Gambit. Gambit. Yep, those those were my favorite days. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Aaron King, do your voices. <laughs> that guy's <is> funny. <laughs> uh, messy, 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 messy. Tell you what, Jimmy boy. Hey. Oh, wait. That's right, Jimmy Boy. For only one easy payment of 25 cents, you yourself can have a lovable or adorable pet rock that you don't have to feed or clean up after. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron King, for asking us that. Very <laughs> A cool show going to start. Do you guys like the show SpongeBob? Original series only. Original, original, original from like after season five. And that's it. Yes, Who, after season five. No. Who's pumped for SpongeBob the musical? Pocket reviewing gaming. How long did it take to edit the film and film edit edit episode? Filming was like two months, two but months. the whole editing was like in a day. Yeah, like I I edited it as we go along, but then like I took like a day to like put it all together and add some finishing touches and stuff. Oh uh, man, I gotta. I mean, should we still keep going, or what do you want to cut it? I don't know. How long is this gonna go on for? Well, how long do you want it to go for? I don't know, dude. How 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 how, how do you guys feel? I feel like I'm going to keep going on this you, for a bit. You, you know what? Yeah, we're going to keep going for a bit. Okay. We'll, we'll Crow2119 says, would you guys make a Goosebumps live action film? They already did they that. They already did that, oh. but if it's based off an episode, uh, yeah, I would love to. Oh, man. <laughs> I would love to actually do the... Like, um, adapt a, a book or something? From the book? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, what's the easiest episode to do? Because some episodes... I remember the, the show... Mask, probably. Cause I remember the, cause I remember the show... I remember the shows um, for Me. different shows during the TV series of Goosebumps. They had like tarantulas in them. Like, forget doing that. We can't buy a tarantula. No, we, no, no. Like we don't, you know later. what we should do? Forget it. If we did a live action, we did Phantom of the Auditorium. Listen, it would be really, school. really cheesy. You, you say this stuff. We, we say that at Nettie movies, cringy. You, you want to see cringy? Make, we'll make a Goosebumps episode, and it'll be really cringy. Okay. Yep. It'll be based but, off okay, but we, but we won't make a Goosebumps episode. Okay. We, we like to work within our means. Mm hmm. Uh, okay. Zachary Solito, what is Plank eat for breakfast? Obviously, he eats Wheaties, doesn't he? Breakfast of Champs? Breakfast of Champs. Okay, um, Carlos, going to, as far as the film goes, when are you separated? Will you have a goodbye episode? Yep. Uh, yeah. yeah that's, 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 that, that was, <laughs> well, besides that, me. I actually want to do, like, a, like, you know how Star Wars did, like, a three trilogy? I actually want to do, like, like that. I only want to make like three episodes. Like that's a okay. Like a trilogy. Javier Cortez has how many reshoots did you did you have to do? A reshoots of what? The movie. The movie. And an Eddie. Zero. Wait, we we had to like reshoot some scenes. Oh well, yeah, we had to reshoot them because, obviously because of like uh like like the quality of this uh, thing didn't come out right. Continuity or like, error or something. Yeah. 
Um, okay, I get this question a lot. Is Ed and an Eddie anime? Bro, no. Blazing Vic T22? No. No. It's Canadian. Big time. How about Dredge's commentary from the movie? We're going to be working on that soon. We're working on that. Uh, Ryan can answer Diego Sosa's question yourself. Personally, um, Ryan, since you're an Inhumans fan, do you think the new ABC slash IMAX show looks good? Have you watched it? It hasn't been getting good reviews. <laughs> um, I want to see it so bad, and to be honest, I don't care what anyone else says. I'm just gonna go see it because I'm an Inhumans fan, and whatever it, the costumes, it looks like Game of Thrones. I know, but I actually love Black, Black Bolts. The one thing I just wish he had was just the mask, but I will see it. I actually. Don't care. Uh, it looks good. I want to see it. King so D, bad. King Thank D, you for King, the question. King DD, would you hire Morgan Freeman in one of your future videos? How are we going to get him? Uh, oh, no. Yeah. Maybe, but no. I, I'd love to. I mean, if he's, to. if he's willing to do it, we'll put him in there somewhere. Or a... He can, like, narrate it. Yeah, he can narrate it. Or a... Or a... Or a... Or a... Or a... What's under the hat? That's Danny Tanucci. We said it's his right, department. That's, 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 I'm that's, not taking this off. As fans, we want to know just as much what is truly underneath his hat. And if we were to make something, it would just be a theory. That's all it would be. Like, even our movie is just a theory of what the Eds would be, okay? It's just a, de a depiction, you know? Uh, some people like it, some people don't, you know? Yeah, we don't blame um, him. Like, yeah, that's just that's just how it is. Um, yeah. Okay, um, let me add... Oh, it's, okay, let's see who else is this. Um, Game Life Human. What made y'all do the Jawbreaker episode? Well, they love Jawbreakers. So oh, yeah, they like Jawbreakers. That's Dude, all we got to say. That's, that's like every episode, man. They want to get Jawbreakers. Need to make money. Need to get the Jawbreakers. MR Philly Cheesesteak, would you guys be interested in voicing cartoon characters? Just Yeah, I would. I would. Mm -hmm. If I get the chance. That's, I want to be a voice actor. <laughs> yeah, One I day. actually would love to do voice instead of um, real acting, to be honest. Okay, let me think of you guys. Carlos Galindo, if your movie received an Oscar, what would your speech be? Okay, that's a interesting question, Carlos. But I mean, honestly, we I would I, actually say like, I would be stunned. I would actually not try not to say anything. No, but no, I can try. imagine we all like go like, thank you for accept for our acceptance of this award. Like, we'll do oh, the, like that improv game? Yeah, yeah. Mr. like the improv Mr. game. Mr. Know It All. Yeah, yep. Mr. Know It All. Mr. Philly Cheesesteak also asked, would you do King of the Hill? Of course. Oh, I love to. I want to be. I want to be Bobby. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be Dale. I'll, I'll be Dale. I would either be actually I would be Boomhauer. Dude, so we I'm could sure. be this would be like a prequel. Oh no we who would be uh who would be either Hank or Boomhauer? I could I could either do Hank or Bill. Yeah, I would do uh Boomhauer. Sorry. No, we need a fourth god to be Whoa Whoa <laughs> Man, I don't know. No, I, I, Hank, I'd, I love don't know. I'd love to. I'd love to. I'll do Yep. We'll uh, just so Matt sixty threes. Can you say three draw breakers, please? Who said that line in the movie? Three jawbreakers, please. That was three, <clears throat> three jawbreakers, please. Uh, <laughs> Equus Twenty One Airbnb. Would you guys ever make a horror movie? Yep. Mm -hmm. Texas I would. Chainsaw Massacre. That and uh, I'd Friday, like to make like a Nightmare Friday, on Elm Street video. Friday the Thirteenth. I would definitely. I'd like to make a Nightmare on Elm Street. Okay. Movie. Uh, Records is in the sequel. You're gonna add the parents. Uh, nope. No. You okay, A Man, man. One, two, 1998, You excited for the new it? Yes, I'm actually gonna see it with Preston. That's the day the day that movie comes out is the day after I leave boot camp. I leave for boot camp, not leave boot camp, leave for boot camp. That's, so yeah. Dude, that sucks, man. Yeah, but I can't wait for next Sunday because I'm seeing Darkest it Hour seven by seven. We each of you guys born in the same time zone. He was born at midnight. At midnight of August 8th. Was, was it midnight or was it somewhere later than that? It was It was midnight. Oh, it was. He and I were born. I was born 10.44 a.m. He was born 10.45 a.m. Like 60 seconds. There yeah, you go. Yeah, so yep. it was like technically like August 7th, but I was born midnight. Boom, August 8th. Perfuse. Any of what the jawbreakers would look like? No. Obviously, I don't know. Any idea what, what? What? Carlos Galindo. Will you guys give out autographs? Sure. Well, I mean, I'm not famous. I'm, I'm not, not famous, famous either, but sure, but I would love sure, to give, love to autograph. give autographs off to people. Yeah. Burnout 2K, can you do that lift? <sighs> okay, um... Were there... Okay, Lucas Fleming, this is a good question. Were there any moments when making the film you felt like you just wanted to quit or felt stressed? Yeah. Sometime. We all have... Every actor goes through it, yes. Um... Probably it was that the park scene. The park scene. Mm -hmm. The park scene. The, the the one where it's like Eddie's I profession. was late and I was so stressed out because I had to get there and it's terrible. It, ter it was terrible. raining. It was, it was humid. It was a mess. 
Hey, but but the scene came out pretty good. Zach Swasser, did you guys ever watch the Buzz Lightyear cartoon as a kid? Yep. Oh, Emperor yep. Zerg. I got the movie. David, so do I. Yep. David Patrick. Hey, Steve, have you seen the Os Osmosis Jones movie? Yes, and yep. I, yep. I own it. I love it as a kid. It reminds me yep. of Lethal Weapon. I remember we watched that in biology class when we were freshmen. What is it? What is it? Osmosis Jones. No. What is it? What do you mean, what it? What, what, is, it? what is it? What is it? When he has a pimple... And the zit scene? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. And oh, the kid, yeah. actually, Kid Rock was in no, that was Kid movie. Rock, Kid Rock was the singer in the movie. And uh, his buddy Joe C, and before he died, obviously. Mm -hmm. That was cool, though. I liked it. Uh, There's going to be a sequel? Yes, there is. Next year. Next year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, David O'Grady, hi from Ireland. Hi. hi. Greetings. Uh, let me think here. King DD, can you do a Kirby voice? That little blue. But not no, blue. pink. Pink. The little pink. Oh, pink. Yeah. Nintendo. Yeah, Kirby. Kirby. <laughs> I don't know. What's he sound like? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. He's make some shit. Um, <laughs> okay, watch the mouth. Okay, okay. Crow219. Crow I'm from Saginaw, Michigan. Hope to see you guys somewhere out somewhere. Well, hey, hey, hey. My sister. Oh, my sister uh, goes to we, Saginaw Valley. We, yeah, my sister been, goes to Saginaw Valley. We've been there for the uh, Thespian Festival. Yep, my sister Two goes to Saginaw Valley College. Thespian, Thespian means Saginaw theater, Valley by University. the way. Okay, this, actor. okay, that random spider did his blanket morning wood. Well, take a wild guess. He's he's wood, so he's up in the morning. Dude, he's got wood yeah, at night. Knows. Yep. The g Mr. Goat, hello from the U.S. Hey, hello. we're from the U.S. as well. Um, <laughs> Red Rum, Eddie, where Dab's at? Booyah. There you are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I'm trying to think here. Joe Christian, are you afraid of the dark as I am? No. No. Dude, I am. No. I'm That's okay. Dude, I have a lot of phobias. Well, <laughs> maybe, I mean, I'm ready if something pops out of the dark. I'm, I'm scared I'm of the ready. dark. I'm scared of small sp like places. Like, I got stuck in a McDonald's tube once. That was a nightmare. Those are that nightmares was, yep, for nightmare. adults. It's a terrifying. Nightmare as a teenager. Car Carlos Galindo, will you all answer fan mail like famous people? Yeah. Sure. Of course. I mean, if I have the time, sure. It, it, like... Some fan mail, I'll be honest with you, it takes a long time, but still they answer it. I cannot. Okay, the dead man. Well, can I get a shout out? What's up? There you go, dead man. <laughs> Jokers, I haven't been in Look, Forget that. Forget that. Uh, <sighs> come on, be, come on. I'm don't sorry. be too crude. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Uh, it's okay. Excuse me. Okay. I gotta. Uh... Yeah, Reaver Red Panda. Thank you for. Mentioning, I'm yeah, completely nice to agree you. with me. Don't say anything at all if you're gonna talk crap. Amen. Yep, to you. I agree. Thank you so much. Uh, just Matt says, Were you three team up to beat up Kevin in real life? Never, never. That guy who plays Kevin, the guy plays Kevin guy is like the nicest guy ever. If Kevin, like, well, would, if, the, would the Eds do that? Um, well, Double D would probably talk them out of it because they're, they're brave enough. Because I actually read on his, I actually watched a couple of episodes that Kevin actually does kind of talk to Double D sometimes. But he just but people show all, like more respect to Double D. Yeah, they show more respect. And like, to Double and D. like even the Ed, they, they they just a lot of people just don't like Eddie. Because exactly. Eddie's it's, just a little. It's, it's just Eddie. Just a little no, they shit. just don't like him. Uh, watch your mouth. Anyways, okay, Carlos Gondo, have you ever thought up of any parodies? No. Um, no. Uh, any other parodies? No, 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 no. no. Uh, <laughs> Jonah Christian, have you met Denzel Washington? No, not yet. Nope. I met other celebrities though, but it's gonna take me all night to say it. But I just gotta keep yeah. going with more questions. <laughs> Wumpy Wumpy, y'all ever thought about joining Team Skull? What? What's, what? 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 Thank you, AJ. Love you, Guns N' Roses t-shirt man. Thank you, Guns N' Roses is awesome. Uh, Jonah Christian, what hair gel did you use for Eddie's hair? Yes, uh, it wasn't hair gel. It was a uh, hairspray called Got to Be Glued. It's the yellow one. Works pretty good. Okay, we're all in gaming. Who's smarter, Dexter? I guh, guess in Dexter's laboratory or Ed Double D. Uh, I'd probably say Dexter, because he has his own laboratory head. and he builds stuff. Well, Don D can go to like a trash can and find like cardboard and like pencils and stuff. While Dexter can make actual freaking robots that can take over the world and like transformers and all that stuff. Phil Evans says, "Whose comics and figures were those in Ed's first scene?" Both of ours. That's both of ours. Hey man, I own some of that that stuff at my house too, True. but it's their stuff. I was like, guys, get all your geeky stuff and throw it around, man. Ed reads comic books. He. Plays, he's got like little figures, weird monster stuff in his room, and you know we just wanted to make sure he got the atmosphere of. of just room. just message three. How bad did that porta potty stink when you were hiding from all the kangaroo sisters? It was it was it was big, 
Eric like the Poro John, the Poro John smoked. was really big. Like it's, it's, it's big. It was real it, big. The Sandy really smelled like anything. It, looked, it, it smelled like, like, it smelled like a. It was like, like the cleaning, cleaning like, fluid. Yeah, it was yeah, like the size of the TARDIS. It smelled like some kind of. It wasn't like big inside. Well, the outside, it was like as like it did as the big as the TARDIS from Doctor Who, but the inside, it was actually pretty roomy. Yeah, but the stink. Red and Dad says, "Can I get a happy birthday for my upcoming birthday? Happy birthday! Happy birthday!" Uh ha ha. Read your tech. Ju- How old were you guys when you made the movie? We were 18. 18. Just about to turn 19 before. Uh, Credo, are you guys a boy band? Hell yeah. Yep. We were in a rock and roll band in we high actually, school. Leo 3. Leo 3. That's right. That's right. I'm the drummer. Megastorm 252. Do you think you make a secret after you all finish university? Obviously, he's coming back from college. He's going to come home from college, and I'm going to come home from wherever I'm shipped out to to do another an anime movie. Um... Uh, let me th- let me keep going. Okay, cause there's more people. I mean, more more people commenting on other stuff, but um, I uh, think does here. Plank Burnout Two K will Shrek make a cameo in the movie? He's in the wrong what universe. The frick, no. no, thank you. No, what is, what Plank does Plank watch anime with Johnny Two by Four? Maybe with me? Sure, we'll watch Dragon Ball. Mega Storm Two Fifty Two. You guys love Jarbaggers? Oh yeah. Absolutely. Oh yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Just Mad 63, did you get the buy five bucks back from Kevin? No. In, real, no, in, no. in the movie? No, but in real life? Yeah, dude. Yep. He would He would be... Uh, yeah, he, he got no pay. <laughs> the <laughs> actor got no pay. <laughs> Carlos Galindo, who was your favorite comedian? Oh, oh boy. My. Oh, boy. Um, I like Richard Pryor. Oh, yeah, yeah, Richard he's Pryor. He's so funny. I like uh, Ralphie May. Ralphie May. Ralphie May just uh, brings I a smile. I like... Uh, what's that? Is his name... Is it Joe Rogan? What's that one dude's name? Oh. Oh. I don't know. No, um, Dane Cook I like, and um, I forgot that one dude's name. David Patrick. Hello. In the movie Osmosis Jones, what movie did your character like? My, I think the most in that movie. Um, Ozzy. I mean, he was Ozzy, more. because he's, he's really. He's funny. like that. I like Bill Murray. Oh, yeah, Bill Murray's character. I also like cool. Thrax because he was actually a pretty menacing villain. I like Ozzy because he was like that John McClane, Martin Riggs, um, not almost not even close to Sonny Crockett, but he was more like a. Like a like a hot, like a hot shot like a like a lead foot he's, hot he's, shot. I call him no, I call it like a wild card. Wild card. He's a wild, yeah, card. He's a wild card. Uh. Okay. Um. Uh, this is for you, Cinnabon Two. Preston, if you had the chance to direct a full Hollywood budget live action anime movie, would you do it? What would you do differently? Would you get actual kids to play the roles? Hell yeah, dude! I'll tell you. I'll tell you what, man. I I get some kids. I get the shortest, fattest looking kid that looks different. <laughs> You know, like that's I, just wrong. I, I tell you what, like some kid that like can do the voice and sound like all conniving. Mm-hmm. You know, I get like like, some, like really me- like a really dorky looking kid, and then I get like like a really tall kid that uh, that could like act like an idiot, but not go over the border of like what is an idiot, what is like mentally challenged. You know, you know, and um, be faithful. You know. That that would be awesome. I'd love to do that, yep. man. Mm. It'd be like, and, and um, I'd like to get the kids, uh, I would n- actually... like know the characters. I'd like make them watch every episode. Yep, Mister Philly. She says, "Have you guys ever been to California?" When I was a really little kid, I was we went to Disneyland, little. but I hope to get stationed out there someday. I have a cousin that lives out in LA. Okay, um, Dan, you did see our film? Yes. Okay, do you have your credits? Did any of the kids in the park went up to and knew who you guys were playing as? No. No. Well, That's actually, weird... one, actually, one guy did. I, I remember at the at the part when we all got the money and like walked away before the cankers came in. That one dude came up and talked to us. All the, everyone else, it was like a birthday party, and they're all staring at us. And that was the most awkward, awkward situation. Moment ever. We went into we went into the gas station. We didn't even tell people we were going to film there. We were just like, okay, uh, uh, um, here, film this, and then we're going to run in there. Okay, so we run in there and um. And people are just kind of like, what the heck is going on? They didn't know what to expect. I don't know if they thought like a robbery or something was going to happen. <laughs> that was <laughs> but, the most but, awkward. But, and then, was, then like then like oh, asked yeah. the cashier like, hey, uh, we're uh, making an Ed Ed Nettie, uh movie. Um, can you film this real quick? 
We just like we're just gonna ask like for some jawbreakers and then we're gonna I'm gonna set. The <laughs> yeah, we look. At first we were it thought we thought like I said like a robbery. It looked like something out of Point Break. You know, we were not wearing any masks. We had like makeup. And Eddie and, and, Eddie and Point Break. <laughs> um, Gregory, um, give me all your uh, money. Well, quarters only. Kerry Cooper, what you drinking? Oh, we're drinking Sprite. And Sprite. Sprite. Pepsi. That's right. Oh my God. Sprite and up. Oh, Pepsi cool. and water too. Um, it's it's Rex. That's a interesting. That's a funny name. You guys in Michigan? Yes, yep. we are. Uh, Dexter or Jimmy Neutron? Jimmy Neutron. Dexter. Jimmy. Well, Dexter. I actually I, say I like Paul. Jimmy Neutron too. Jimmy Neutron was my jam. I watched Jimmy Neutron more than I watched Dexter's. Dexter's, Dexter's Lab. Lab. Yeah. I have a VHS tape of Dexter's Lab that actually has an Ed and Eddie episode after. All those episodes are done. Yep. Yeah, A-Man 12, 1998. Howdy from Big Rapids, Michigan. Hey! hey. Hello! We meet up. I'll treat you some dry beers. Sounds fair enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a doodle me. Yep. Jawbreakers! <laughs> Carlos going to, we all do a comedy like Step Brothers? Uh, <laughs> me and Steve Farrell, can do something I can like do that. something like that with him. Because... Hey, well, well, you him, well, Steve well, would be well, 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 I'd be John C. Riley because I play drums. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think uh, Lucas Fleming, were you surprised at the amount of support the film you, you guys got from the fans? Yes, we already. Oh answered, yeah, yeah, we yeah. already we already answered this question. Oh yeah, dude, I thought this video would get like forty views, uh, some likes, some dislikes, couple comments uh, after a couple years, and like that's it, you know. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. I just saw. I just read a comment there. Would Johnny make a great serial killer? Johnny. Two by four. Yeah. Mm, oh, he used playing because well, he's well, he's a loner. And he's, he's probably a weird kid, yeah. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say probably. Fix the image. You get chipped out through the Washington D.C. area. You got a friend in me. Uh, yes, you do. And good Toy Story reference. You got a friend in me. Okay, uh, Keith Mason, are you the Care Bears? Nope. Sorry. No. I want to be the blue one. <laughs> yeah, I'm and I'll be, be sleepy. yeah, and I'll be Skeletor from Is Mass this? of the Universe. Oh. <laughs> Richard Forrest, what's the next big project you guys are going to be working on? The next and, and the sequel. 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 Yep. Number two. Um, Carlos Glendo, how can kids not recognize Ed and Eddie? Okay, it's 2010. Let so let let's get let's get let's review the facts. One, kids don't this. know much. My little cousins Nowadays. who are it's, it's sad. seven it's sad. and three right now. Um, my older cousin, who's that's their kids, showed uh, our video, and they looked in at him like, "What's this?" He goes, "This is what I grew up on." And I literally had to talk to them, and I, I, I'm trying to show them episodes, and they wouldn't even listen. Listen, I asked people my age that they watched Dad, Dad, Daddy. They're like, they're like, I never even heard of that. You know why? Because some parents never even, like, let their kids watch it for some reason. Yeah. Yep. Okay, uh, Carlos Galeno, has Danny Antonucci spoke with all of you or had a chat via text? Yes, uh, he did. On his, on, his his on his personal channel. And he, I found him on Facebook. Rewrite Panda. Is it true you guys filmed the movie on iPhone 7? Yes, yes we did. We did. Shot and edited. What? That's right. Yep. iMovie. <laughs> King Didi. Can you guys do a Didi voice? Obviously. <laughs> Dexter. Oh, Dexter. Okay. Carlos Galindo, do you have your own studio for everything? My what? Your own studio for everything or no? Hell no. No. You kidding me? We just some kids in an iPhone. We got no studio. Megastorm 252, when do you think the sequel would be, or when do you all return? Um, by hopefully June, when everybody's out of school and everything, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come home from, wor from wherever I'm stationed at, college. or wherever I'm at in the world, and I'm going to do it. Yeah. No. Okay, um, Roland Gaming, have you guys ever thought of making a Danny Phantom movie? Yes, I would love to play Danny Phantom, because uh, that's one of my favorite shows. Oh man, it'd be, it'd be a lot of work getting ghosts and doing special effects. Yeah, and... but still, I'd been, I mean, to do like the fine effects, they actually have a Danny Phantom figure with the ghost tail and all. We just make Use that. Put that, make a visual oh, stream. Come on, dude. Okay, Re that... Reader Red Panda, question. Do you guys have email or Gmail? I want to write fan mail. Yes, yes we do. Um, uh, we'll we'll, no, we'll um, comment to you separately. Yeah, you I, I don't want, want to give people my email, man. No, I mean, I, I'll get, I mean, to I her, I'll give my I, email. I, like, I would. I, I would see. To Reaper Red Panic, yeah, I'll give you my email, but not right now. I'm CR7 yeah. Elite, shout out. What's up? What How you doing? Uh, uh, King DD Keesing, Clint Eastwood, my gorillas. Not right now. Boom, shoot, shoot. I, I That's a feel good, feel good ink. Good. Mm. Uh -huh. 
I, can, I know how to play the I'm bass for feel good. Feeling glad I got sunshine in a bag. I'm useless, but not for long. All right, I don't. Oh no, it's coming. Okay, uh, cinema so Are you guys gonna do another live stream? Make this again. Yeah, I, yeah I, I don't know. I, I, would, I would like to. Megastorm252 says, It'll, make a fan mail, e- fan email? Well, that would make it everything easy. uh, sure. easier. I think it would be easier. Like a fan base email. Megastorm252 yeah. said, I, which I, characters I, would you play in Danny Family? I'd play Danny. I don't know. Without, without glasses. I, I don't know. I got I, I, I to rewatch and see where I'd put myself. I got it on Hulu. Zach Neem says, where'd you get all the name for your, where'd you get the name of your channel? Uh, that's, uh, yeah, dude, um, I took inspiration from the creature of the Black Lagoon, and just because I like them old horror movies, silent screamers and stuff, and um, Monster of Bloodbath Lagoon, uh, the, there was like a, I don't know, it was just, uh, I don't know, I just like horror movies and stuff, and uh, the theme of my channel was like, like Spawn comics and stuff, mm-hmm. and Spawn related stuff, and uh, that's, uh, I just wanted to go for something kind of cool and weird, different. Fix be, image. I'm oh, sorry. Be my own character. Fix image says good night, guys. N- Till next time, peace. Good, good night, night, dude. Peace good night. out. Peace out, man. Lucas Flame says, did you do the scene of Ed being chased by Ralph in one shot? Nope. 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 That took us multiple shots. Multiple. multiple <sighs> one shot. I, I, made, I made them do three laps. Two actually. Was it? Two, was it? Yes, two laps. Oh, it was, oh it was, it was just two laps. It was just just two laps. My bad. I'm sorry, I forget. Okay. Uh, um. So two laps, and then I I got like an additional shot of like. Him running and then like like a, from like a different side of the chicken coop and then um like a different side and then like a like you know a shot that was like further back with like the edge in it and then like where I'm like get over here fish face you know okie dokie artichokey okay um miss miss little amazing favorite tv show Miami Vice um Twilight Zone uh Kitchen Nightmares or or, or Face Off Animated show, me would be Darkwing Duck. South Park. And that too, South Park. South Park. Carlos Colinda, will Plank have more friends as Little Rock Buddy? Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Oh, yeah, dude. Maybe in the sequel, if, if, <laughs> if Joe still has it, I'm wanting to bring the Rock Buddy in there. That'd be awesome. I'll be Jonah Christian, what actor would you change shoes with? I mean, literally. Okay, that's a hard question. That's a good question. Change shoes. In our film? Um, maybe, or just an actor itself. Like, what any actor. In our movie? No, no I mean a real life, life, life actor. And for what? Like any kind of actor. actor like movie. what act? What actor would you change your shoes with? Like like your their position, like their their, oh. their spot. Oh, okay. Damn. I didn't understand the question. Um, Me for a movie, it would be Jake Gyllenhaal as Donnie Darko. I just I, I like the character. Rock. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> oh, gosh, you're I'm, kidding I'm, me. I'm, no, I'm not. Okay. Um, yeah, well, I mean, if they were all young again, I would do either. I mean. Action film wise, I would have. I mean, I, I mean, I would have done a young Jean Claude Van Damme because I would have loved to do his action movies. I mean, they were pretty cheesy from the time, but Don Johnson, I would have done. Uh, I, I want to. Miami Vice style, like, like I love the clothing, the uh, all the stuff he wore in that show was. Okay. I, I, I want to be me. Yeah, yeah. Me, you know, actually, I'll, I'll just be me. Yeah, I want to be, be me. me. Medusa ever, ever played sports? Bowling and golfer. Bowling and golf. Football, bowling, wrestling, golf. I'm bowling, wrestling too. Uh, I said that you did. Uh, football, wrestling. Uh, yeah, that in the uh, firewood splitting. Firewood splitting. I tried. To, I want snowboarding, I, I surfing. I to do. La- yeah, and I want to do lacrosse. Okay. Um, favorite color. I like blue. Dark Stormy blue. Five ninety five. Uh, I love navy green. blue, navy blue and gold, green and black. Jack Ager, what are your favorite movies? Blade Runner, Donnie Darko, and The Rocketeer. Blade Runner. Blade Runner, uh, Point Break, 1991, Top Gun, and uh, Star Trek 2009. Eraserhead, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre from 74, The Elephant Man, and Uncle Buck. Oh, and Spaceballs, I forgot. Crow 2119, I'm going to be making a Deadpool vs. Wolverine movie any, any, soon. Any advice? Okay, first off, number one, no, do your research. Do I your mean, research do on your the You got to get the character down and correctly. Listen, be prepared to be slammed by fans. Something like that, you're going to get some put, like, fan wars going on in the comments, man. Oh, yeah. And you so might listen, put, and listen put, you, you're going to want to address all of the characters' abilities. All of the characters' study abilities. The mov- study yeah. the movements. Study the comics. Read them. Study the movements. from the, like Watch Deadpool and watch... 
X Men, and you know, try to do a Hugh Jackman physique. Like, see how he does his movements and how he acts in sort of and situations. For Deadpool, watch you gotta the, have watch the detail, the, the, the abilities, got, the powers they have. They for, need to be addressed. And for Deadpool, I would say you gotta have like, like, a uh, cocky character. Like he's like, he's annoying as hell. And let loose. Yeah. Yep. And have fun. Have fun. Uh, yeah. I'm starting to read more. The guy who played okay, Cinema Two. The guy who played Rolf did a pretty good job on the voice, considering how his voice do. Did he need to do practice? Did he need to do practice for it? Uh, of technically, war? I don't think so. Well, the reason why I casted him is because we did a, a show in high school called Murder in the Knife Room, and he played a character called a uh, Sketchy Foreigner, and like he was doing like a like a really like foreign like a like a really weird foreign accent, yep. and it sounded very similar to Rolf, mm-hmm. and uh, he this, and that was like a year ago, yep. so he hasn't. Oh my glob. So, uh, that's okay. So he hasn't okay. really been practicing. What? So he hasn't really been practicing a whole lot on his uh, on his foreign accent. So uh, when he got there, mm-hmm. he was working on it for about 10, 15 minutes, and um, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, he tried. Um, he did good though. River Red Panda. Did you guys cry when Robin Williams died? I know I did. Also, I did. He was one of my favorite comedians. It broke my heart. It broke I was my heart. so depressed. I, was so I had to go sad. back to watching Mrs. Doubtfire that day, and I said I couldn't face it the same way. I was, Any actor who I've seen a movie and who's died, it would make a great classic film. I watched. Film. Ala- I just couldn't see it. I right. watched Aladdin all day and for a couple of days. I watched Mrs. Doubtfire Mrs. every day. Mrs. Doubtfire. Every yep. day. Mark and Mindy was on re. Uh, was actually on reruns for the whole damn day. Like nothing else was on. It was just Mark and Mindy. Carlos Galindo. Will you make a music video? Obviously, we did get the music right. video. Add in the intro, man. Yeah. Exact name. Can I ask multiple questions? If they're good, if they're good. There, there, there is a uh, a music video on our. Uh, we have a we have a band, Leo Three. We have like a fan page, right? Oh yes, yes. we Le- still have it on Facebook. Leo Three, yeah. And there's a video of us uh, covering uh, a Nirvana song. Okay. Uh, Mega Storm Two Fifty Two. Can you do an Arnold Schwarzenegger impersonation? Ryan, start off with you. <clears throat> I'll be back. Mine's from Commando. Let off some steam, Bennett. Hello, Sly. I was just wondering if you, if um, I could come over and and, uh, and um have a costume party. Hey, what's up, man? I don't know. That's that's worse than I got one from Kindergarten Cop. It's not a tumor. It's not a tumor at all. Oh, I got another one. Oh, what's a really good one? The Um, predator. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Okay, Carl. Put the cookie back. Or, okay, she's quiet. You're not asking. Yeah, my grandma's super serious. Okay, Carlos Gondo, will you do a silent movie? I would actually like to do a he comedy. Did a, Ryan did a silent movie on his channel, Ryan Ulinski on a, a YouTube. It's like it was like a, a school project. It's, it's called The Punishment of the Witch. It's, and I, it's, it's cheesy as it, hell. Yeah, but it's um, but it, it's, actually, it's funny to watch. I actually want to do another one, only like a comedy like Charlie Chaplin. It's just I just love those kind of films. It's funny. Okay, Crow two one one nine. What weight classes were re- in wrestling were you guys? I was in weight class one forty one forty five. I was in at the time. I think I was like in seventh grade. I think I was like in the one. Back then, 30s. man. I mean, I was in the one. It's hundreds. been a long time. We don't remember much. I don't remember two thirty. Yep. Two. Stormy five ninety five. Can you guys play any instruments? Yes, of course. I'm a drummer, Guitarist, bassist, and drummer for our band Leo Three Rock Band. I also play piano, saxophone, guitar, bass. Same as there. Guitar, yep. bass, six string banjo. Uh, bass, guitar, uh, guitar, pedal drums, steel guitar, d- drums, I wanna, saxophone. I found one for eighty bucks. I'm gonna buy it for eighty-eight fingers. Edward, by the way. Terry Bennett. Hi, I'm Terry Bennett. Hi, Hi Terry. Terry. Hi, Terry. Um, Phil Evan, who makes the best bar toast? That would be me. I make some good toast too, man. T- Terry Bennett, do you do TV shows? We were on one for um. Um. Yeah. Um. There's a YouTube channel called uh, the Comedy Web. Dot com the comedy web.com check him out um uh the guy uh his name's pat uh he's he, our... he uh um shot uh, the um the the intro for our film and he also applied the green screen effects in the in our intro um so check out his channel called the comedy web.com i'm in a couple episodes uh episode uh, it's called the uh the uh the R, the wrng show yep um, I was in episode seven, and I think I'm like episode eight and nine or something. I don't know. And mm-hmm. uh, I, I did a few things, and I was a couple characters and a uh, little skits he's done. I need a little plug. Anyways, a rat ram spider. To make an Spider-Man fan from, do you guys have any advice? Study the character. Study the character. Choose whatever villain if it if it's easy to do. Do your research. Yes, do your research. Red and Dead. How do you spell the name of your old band? L 
Cap- e- capital L. They're all capital. E O. Like all capital letters. L E O with the number three, like right on the spot. No space. None of it. The alternative rock band. Uh, John and Goodbye, favorite band. I'm gonna Smashing Pumpkins is my favorite band. Nirvana, Corn, mm. Primus, Aeros- Aerosmith, Shine Down, Shine Down, I love Backstreet, Rage Against the Machine. Uh, Mac. Zach Neiman, have you guys worked with other YouTubers? That's a good question. No, no. I would who actually. Is a, who's a Psycho Pile? Psycho, Psycho Pile, Pile, yeah, he sent out a Psycho video. Pile. Thank he, you. And he, he promoted. He promoted uh, it. Yeah, it was like, again yeah, on his channel. Was, uh, we're so thankful for that. Stormy five nine eight five favorite animal. Um, more of a, I'm more of a sea, a sea, I'm more of a sea type creature guy. So I, like, I love, I love sharks. I'd say my favorite's raccoon. <laughs> I, I, like, funny. I like elephants and uh, bulldogs. I was like apes because they go ape crap. I was gonna say the John and Jonathan, um, Jonathan, good boy. Favorite NNH game? The cruise ship was my favorite one. Uh, the mo- I'd say the monster costume was my favorite. <clears throat> Breck, Breckenridge farming. What part of Michigan are you guys from? Macomb County. Macomb County. Not gonna say the town. Uh, Lucid Blaze Cat, who's Cap Melanin? That's Johnny. That's Johnny Two by Four. If you've never seen the show, just watch the episode Robin Ed. That's right. Phil Abayan, what are your instruments in the rock band video game? He's the lead guitar, I'm the bass, and he's the drum. Simple as that. Um, we okay. Will you make Double D learn how to play Pal State Guitar for the sequel of the Fans Demand? What about? Yeah, I'm actually found one for eighty bucks. I'm actually gonna save my money up for him, and I'm gonna actually gonna buy it. Uh, before this Christmas, before this this yeah, this December, and actually learn how to play it myself. I'm not gonna go learn. I'm actually gonna learn how to play it. Worst comes to worst, I'll put like audio over you, make it sound good. Okay. Yeah, um, if, if, if I sound crappy, yes. Okay. Preston will come to save. Okay. Next question. Um, uh, King Didi, can you guys sing Dirty Harry? Not sing it, but I can say it. Go ahead, make my day. Do you? Feel, I asked my question. One question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, yeah. punk? Okay, um, Jack Ayer, what movies are coming out are you guys looking forward to? It's Blade Runner 2049. Blade Runner. The new Blade Runner movie. It and Kingsman. Yeah. I'm looking forward to uh, Leatherface. Yeah. And Leatherface also. And Star Wars as well. Yeah, that too. And the shit. No, did you guys hear about the new Shape of Water by Gomel del Toro? Oh, yeah, dude. That the, good. No, critics are. Critics are actually. I read oh, second, reviews. Find my, um, they, they love it. They, do find they find like, find love it. And. I read, I read on, and they, on Rotten Tomatoes. Is your phone got, dying? Yeah. It's got 100%. Thanks for taking oh, it out. Oh, you got a long cord, man. Yeah. You need a cord no. so I can still Ro- read the comments. Rotten Tomatoes give it 100% right now because it's really good. They say it's Watch Gomer- the pop. They say it's, it's Del Toro. Right. Right. They say it's Del Toro's right, best. So I'm really excited. Um, I'm also excited for the new Hellboy next year, even though it's not Ron Perlman anymore. Here, can you hold it's still going to be all right. Hold. Thank you. It's going to be R-rated. Oh, I'll, say, I'll re- keep reading comments from it. Um, no, no, nothing bad. Can you do SpongeBob or Patrick Pressions? Ah! Uh-huh. Who, who, hey, SpongeBob. Who are you calling Pithead? <laughs> um, Saucy V says, can we donate? <laughs> uh, Saucy V says, can we donate to you guys? Well, we don't make money, so I I mean, I don't... Sure. No, that's too much of a project. Well, yeah. Um... I Judah mean, Vic, I, pre- I appreciate it though. Brian, I'll read back. Judah Vic says, "What else do cartoons do you like? I love Darkwing Duck, uh, South Park, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Aqua Teen Hunger Force. And okay. Family Guy. Oh, thank you. And oh, and Futurama. I forgot. I got the whole series. What, Mart Mart has DJ. What kind of stage monitor do you use? Monitors. 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 What? <laughs> Oh. What? I, I don't know. Um, Dear God. Like, like I said, okay, listen. We don't want to. I don't want to sound hypocritical. Like uh, the reason why this film isn't great because you know we're a low budget and then people you know want to give us money, or um, you know we're not going to accept it. You know, it's just that. You know, this is just something we do for fun, and um, uh, we it's just you know we we like doing what we do. You know, we okay. like, you know. Two yep. Vertical said... What comic book superhero would the Eds be? Eddie would be more of a Magneto sort of character. No, I'd say... No, um, he'd be Tony Stark because he wants to make money. He wants to be rich. Double D would have been... Um, Who's Bruce Bruce Banner. He's a scientist. Well, no, I know, but if he had to be a genius, then I would say... Um, Tony Stark because he's... Because Tony Stark is smart. Oh, Dude, Eddie would, Eddie would be Rocket Raccoon. Ed would be the Incredible Hulk. 
Definitely, because he's in the monster movie type. You can just be big. I, I wanted to. Uh, <laughs> I'd say no, double no, Rocket, no, no. Rocket and Groot. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then Double D would probably have been I don't know Star Lord. Star Lord probably. I don't know. He's gotta be smarter. Iron Man. Um, uh. Uh. Carl's gonna. Do, what? No. Do you take wait. What about Batman? Batman? What do you take? Okay, Carl's gonna. You can be Iron Man or Batman. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Iron Man guys. probably. Carl's gonna. What do you take from these in live streams to help you out? What do I take? What do we take from it? Like the like. The support. I take support. And I just like connecting with the fans. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love doing that too. I, I like. Uh, I like. I just want people that that really care about this film and like cared about what we've done. Um, if they have any questions, you know, I just like want to answer them. You know, what do they want to know? Mm-hmm. Because yep. we, we we don't have any behind the, behind the scenes footage. Yeah, Mr. You know, this is as close as you you're gonna get. Sadly, Mr. Philly G6, says, if you guys set up a Patreon page, so could we fund your fan films? We that would like actually one. be nice, though. But yeah, that how, would. How, how would we get it? Like, exactly. I mean, we, we gotta, my sister knows all that stuff. He's yeah, just I'll ask my sister. Whatnot. I'll ask my sister because she knows about finding pages. Yeah, I would love. I would and actually. Then, like, we, then people. we could like start like renting like high quality cameras and stuff. Yeah. Right. Right. Philippine ball. Please tell me that there's dirty ribbons in the show, Ben and Eddie. There's tons of them. There's tons of them. Pay, if you pay attention, if you look close enough, you can tell them right off the bat. Yeah. Lucas Flemmy. Some people say they didn't like the movie off the bat because they saw the. Uh, Hold on. The, Lucas Flemmy says. Sorry, the note, world. the note in Double D's mirror that says, uh, "Don't touch yourself." Don't touch yourself. The, well, that the, was actually in the show. Yep, that mm-hmm. was an Easter egg. Um, um, and like the the masticate part. Yeah, the that masticate. was based off of the movie. The movie. Uh, yeah. yeah, the Sexton. Yep. The Sexton. Um, Lucas yeah. Fomey says, "Will you force Double D to play pedal steel guitar for the sequel?" He yes, will. I'm actually gonna buy a pedal steel guitar in a month. We're not forcing. He decided he wanted to do it. So because fans love. 88 fingers I'd work and I'm like this is gonna work so I'm gonna do it <laughs> Zach Neem favorite video game hmm. Assassin's Creed's my favorite uh, I don't know I think Call of Duty or uh, Doom I like Bowley Scholarship Edition that's a fun game Grand Theft Auto mostly too uh, John the Good Boy was double D abused by his parents hence his hat secret I don't know about that one I, that heard, been a- I did my research as much as possible and um, I hear like these um these crazy fan theories. That, like, uh, it was a dodgeball accident. That's why he doesn't like dodgeballs or something. Um, I don't know. Uh, we, I tried to, like, uh, come up with, like, a, a scene for, like, a, like, a, like our own interpretation of what it could be. But um, we just feel like it's too risky Yeah. as fans. And even, you know, we just don't feel comfortable with it because it's just such, like, a controversial thing, you know. And uh, even, even still, if we, like come up with our theory it's just the theory and it's not legit and we would rather have danny antonucci come up with it yeah mm-hmm. breckenridge farming shout out from gratia county hi uh dick johnson of all the kids in the college like who the, who would be the most likely to try as an addict like as a drug addict or as in like a criminal a, mostly kevin kevin would be a kevin would be more of a criminal type or um no i'd say johnny would be a criminal Maybe, maybe Johnny. Cause I don't see him. Johnny is mysterious. Johnny, he's, he's I don't. Really... I don't see him getting in a, you know, getting like being, uh, you know, coming, be, coming uh, with uh, reality. You know, understanding reality. You know, because he's always just in his own little world all the time. Um, Judah Vic, what's your opinion on Mortal Kombat? Uh, the, the, games game, were, the, the games, games were awesome. The games were awesome. The movies first were just movie was was okay. good, but the second one was not so good. I mean, they're both kind of bad, considering they had a good budget. Philippine Ball, how about a reaction video? If you do it, be my guest. Mm-hmm. Go easy on us, man. Please do. Yeah, go easy on us. I don't need that. We don't need that. Um, we get enough of it every day. Mm-hmm. Did you, you respond to my right, question earlier? earlier on, your, on what's your opinion on Harry Arnold and Teletubbies? Okay, Harry Arnold was a really good show for the 90s. And yep, today. Teletubbies, I used to have a life-size uh, Paul the red one and I used to wrestle that when I was a kid was yeah fun. I had the yellow one Lala I think it was the name was but that show honestly nowadays I just look at it and go what were they thinking back then yeah I'm looking like what Roderick Gaetan do that Fred <sighs> okay uh, Reba Red Panda shout out from Tucson Arizona what's up How Arizona you doing? Hey. Arizona hey. I love it. I love Arizona. I've been there before, like, a few times when I was a kid. My grandma is from Arizona. Yep. Okay. Uh, Are we able to see, like, how many views this is getting? Yeah, yeah. I can see clear as day. We're getting 76, 76 views. views. Oh. Oh. Okay. okay um, John Goodboy, why do you believe Ed is frightened of his mom? Well, 
Because because Sarah always tells Sarah on him. He's a, always getting Sarah taken for Sarah is it. literally so mean. She's to him. like the favorite child, and then yeah. like Ed lives in the basement for crying out loud. So yeah. And like they don't even care about like his hygiene or anything. He's got a he's got a tub full of gravy. Yep. Ed and gravy. Ed and gravy. Why didn't the guy who played Johnny shave his head? Well, he didn't feel like it. He didn't okay. want to. Come on, man. Come <laughs> he on. He didn't want to. Come on. You like, man, 12, 1998. You like Brandon Rogers? I love Brandon Rogers. I love Brandon Rogers. Oh, you want to see Jesus? Oh, he's hilarious. <laughs> Try my bitch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, mom. Last we morning, have, we, watch the language, we both have of you. Most, okay. We have um, more parents tonight. We can just, do Okay, okay, Preston. Now. Just Preston. met 63. What kind of music do you guys listen to? I listen to grunge. 60s to 60s till today. I like, uh... Okay, like uh, metal, corn. Oh yeah, oh Primus. yeah. Metal. Lucas Fleming, thanks for taking time to do this, guys. Good luck in your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank Good you. night. Good night. Tour vertical. Hey, I'm from Arizona too. Hey. Hello. Um, door god, door. Yeah, door god. You guys need an editor or a graphics designer? Hmm. What's it? like graphics designer? Cin Cinnabon two. Do you remember a show called Boobas? I s watched oh, this I show remember once. Boobas Boobas. And I I w oh, it's, uh, they all think, uh, those little, you know those little balls that has like prickly. They look like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they like they're like those little balls, like those little what? prickly ball. Easy, those little easy. balls that's like the little balls that has like those little bumps in them. Kind of look like those. Yeah, I mean that show is just so confusing. Like, what were they? What kind of dread? What kind of driven their minds? Like do that baby show? in the sky Ghost, or something? Ghost Kid Gotta says be. these are the people who played Ed and Eddie. Yes. Ed, uh, Ed and Eddie. Yeah. What's up? Judah Vic, what's your opinion on Jerry Lewis and Robin Williams? <laughs> Both great communities. Both are really good. God bless him in heaven. I love mm -hmm. Jerry Lewis. He's fun. Yep. I love the Nutty Professor. Oh, like in that quote in that movie, Battleship, you know, the bow boy and the original Nutty Professor. Very good movies. He's a great humanitarian. <laughs> I like The Stooge, too. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Love Yo, what's movies. good, guys? Big love fan. love the show as a child, hoping they return at any, but Giant Blink being the bad guys? That was the end of, that was at the straight to, at like right at the end of Big Picture Show. Mm-hmm. And they didn't have enough time to actually like do the worst thing they ever did. <laughs> I have a question. Why the hell do I watch Big Insect Perez? I don't know. And Sanders. It's uh, so we let people know that we're doing live feed instead of just just showing them people. What they say? Uh, why? Uh, somebody wrote about why the hey, hell? Hey Sanders. We it was, it's a uh, it's YouTube's it's fault. That's not our fault. It's a warning or something. I don't know. Um, I, I don't monetize my stuff. Read you, so read you take USA. USA, are you guys in college? If so, what are your majors? I'm going to be studying radiology. I am a current. I'm a uh, theater major. <laughs> I want to be an actor or a voice actor. Since I'm in the Navy, since I'm in the Navy, I'm going to be doing college courses online. And uh, my major I'm working on is aviation and um, criminal justice. And my minor to become an officer. Um. Uh, Ed and Gravy, just wondering, why was the bike scene where Kevin rode up so long? Yeah, good question. It was his, it was Preston's well, okay, idea. Okay, listen, man. That guy did so good. Uh, I just wanted to give him as much screen time as possible. Also, uh, I don't know. It was, it was like my first time editing a, a good movie. Or, well, not a good movie, but like a big project like this. And, um, so I just... The show I'm going to take a break. I'm going to use the restroom. I'll be right and back. And All right. I'll so take over. Let Double D and Eddie answer your questions for a bit. I'll be right back. Okay. Paige Sanders. <laughs> I and see also, the guy. Also, by the way, in the uh, re-edited edition, the director's cut, um, I, cut all, I cut all those weird, awkward moments down. Um, so, yeah. But but really, though, I wanted to keep the sound effects going. And, like I wanted to, like... Like hear it fade as he goes oh, off in the distance. Like here, even though he's not, you can't barely see his head. Or right, hold on, but he, he's good. Scoot the chair a little bit over so you can see his face. Okay, Everyone there you can go. see his face. Everyone can see Blink. Okay, Paige Sanders says, "I see the guy in the blue being the replacement of Tommy Boy." <laughs> you know, he'd be Tommy. I'd be. I don't know. Who'd be Tommy? Uh, Barbara. Tommy, you want Winnie? Tommy. Wait, you say any of this? No, okay. It looks like, ah! that his hair. <gasps> What'd you do? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Barbie Garpin Barbie says, Garpin. favorite scam was the banana one, season three. Um, Jonathan Goodboy said, who would you kill an Ed, Ed, and Eddie? Who would I kill? Who would I kill? I'd, 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 I'd kill. 
Kevin. Kevin. I, I hate you, Kevin. I'd say either that. I'd say Kevin. I definitely could see Ed kill Sarah because even though she's but, but, but don't no no because she's really mean to him and like abuses him. Okay, okay, that is just terrifying. Don't even don't even say that. Carlos Galindo says, "What is your favorite scam from the show?" Like I said, the cost the costume one they did and Cinnabon two says, "Where are you guys right now?" Um, we're in my basement. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. Um, this is actually the room. This is Ed's room. Yeah, this is actually where we filmed. This is Ed's room. Uh, A man one two one night. A man twelve nineteen ninety eight. Can we be friends like extremely awkward friends? No. I mean, I like to chat, but friends. This is as close as it's gonna get, man. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I mean, uh, thank you for for your views and stuff yeah. and your support for the, um, for the film. And Dragon, the love. Right, I'm back. Dragon K. I'll read the cut. Comment, cut, eh, questions. And after that, I'm going back in Dragon K Z X Monster Bloodbath. If you subscribe, if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, that I will subscribe to your YouTube channel. I promise. Okay. Uh, okay. okay no, I, I want to do it this time. It's my fault. Okay. Listen, uh, if people, <clears throat> if if someone tells me they subscribe to my channel in the comment section I usually oh, go to their channel and subscribe to them anyway because I just okay, feel like doing that dick. All right, all right, um the next one. yeah no okay Mr. Philly Cheesesteak I actually like Philly Cheesesteak <laughs> would you Love guys think about making short skits of cartoons on your channel nothing that concerns too much time or effort um I don't know. That'd be too much of a tease to be, yeah and people yeah, would be over excited and say oh you could do film you could do film you could do film no Two, ver know. two vertical. Question for Plank. How hard is it to stay all still all the time? Pretty hard, he says. <laughs> um, Robert Gosling, again, what is Double D hiding under that hat? We don't Ask know. Ask Danny Antonucci. Jonathan Goodboy, Plank scares me. I'm sorry. That's how Mega he Megastar 252. Have you ever watched Eddie's Got a Gun? Is that an Aerosmith song uh, parody? Gun. Jonathan Goodboy, is Plank possessed? Gun. No, that's how he looks every day. He just has a smile. Paige Sanders, what college are you guys in? I'm taking online courses from Western Michigan, but uh, this Thursday I will be deployed for United um, States Navy, RTC, and Great Lakes, Illinois. I'm going to Macomb and then transfer to Wayne or Saginaw Valley. I'm uh, currently attending University of Detroit Mercy. I'm a four-year theater major. Um, um... I like to remember Red Panda. I like to draw, and I'm wondering if you guys have any advice on how to draw the ads. I actually did draw Ed in Eddie one time. I just look at the photo, and sometimes I just kind of do my best just to draw it off. Mm -hmm. Um, whenever I draw Ed and Eddie, I like to just take my own, like, like I just like to draw them like how I could depict them, like, like meet them halfway, half cartoony, half re reality, so they mm -hmm. just kind of look weird, like something from Mad Magazine. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Conan, have you ever thought of adding Eddie's brother one day? Yep. Mm -hmm. um, Varpy Gerbic, can you guys say, Hey, I'm walking here. I hey, say, I'm walking here. Hey, I'm walking here. <laughs> that works. Uh, James Jen, hey, do you guys like tapes and CDs? Yes, Back I do. Old technology? Yes, yes I, I do. do. Works for me. I like cassette tapes and vinyl records. So I watch a lot of movies. Carlos Galindo, if you can bring back any famous musical artist, who would you choose? Musical artist? Um, That's tough. Hmm. Kirk Cobain. Kirk Cobain. I'd say Kirk Cobain. Or Jimi Hendrix. Me, would be either between Kirk Cobain or Elvis Presley. Or the lead singer from uh, Alice in Chains. Oh, uh, what's his name again? That guy, he, he was... Or, or the, no, wait, or me, would be or, Scott Weiland. Or the lead Scott singer. Scott Weiland, yeah. Or yep. the lead singer from Blind Melon. Richard Forrest, the dead theory was just... Oh, okay, never mind, scratch that. Um, Dreet, Jew, Tech, Jew, SA. What do you guys feel with the new currency of Carp Network? It's gone bad. It's just... It I'm just sorry, went, I just can't, it just I just can't went to deal crap. with it. I'm sorry. Um, Wolfpack, yeah. Wolfpack for Lynn 3? Three? I like the Wolfpack part. Are you only cut off at one thirty? Sure. Yeah. Favorite restaurant? Um, Applebee's. Oh, I like uh, Culver's, the butter burger. Actually, Culver's yeah, you know what? Bu uh, butter burger's the best Culver's, actually, but I like Buffalo I actually love Wild Culver's. Wings. Okay. Culver's and Applebee's. Um, Buffalo Wild We are cutting off the chat at one thirty a.m. So you got 10 minutes. Yeah, we went a lot longer the Great. Than, than all of us wanted. We are, like, you, are you in a bomb shelter? No, this is my basement. Uh, we actually 
do it by himself. Turk. So Ed Gravy. Dexter's laboratory. Ed Gravy. What's your favorite big, wait, big Ed quote? Swedish, Swedish swag. What's in the bag? Obviously, that, that quote. I'm a woodpecker except like love. dirt. Yep, I love that quote. I'm um, a woodpecker. Uh, Minecraft master, why are you in your basement? Confused. Well, we had nowhere else to is, film this live action, so we can we, only film we here. We always oh, chill out here. Uh, the plan. I just wanted to come on. I came over and hang out with uh with my best friends. And, Before I go. Uh, yeah, and uh, mm -hmm. you know, I was just like, you want to do another live chat because we were talking about we were like talking about the film and stuff, and just like so, you know, we weren't really prepared for this, but you know. Okay. It's Magic for the blind. Do you miss Ed and Eddie? Oh yeah. Yep. Dude. Okay. So okay, Salvatore Ramirez. So only one guy has actual acting experience. Dad's actually, I actually acted no, on stage. No, we, we, we are. We I are acted all... on stage at my high school since I was in sixth grade. Mm -hmm. I even was in a short film called The Last Resorts last year. I was supposed to do a sequel. What's but, the name of the channel where they can find it? Um, MPI or mo actually, it's called Motion Picture Institute of Michigan. Anyway, um, yeah. all, everyone from the film was in our high school's theater department. So um, it was probably their first time ever acting on camera. A lot of them are used to like the theater style technique, which is big and over the top and stuff. So, um, but I thought you know that would probably be you know it's 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 what I have to work with, and also mm -hmm. you know this being like a cartoon, it'd probably be appropriate. Okay, uh, Roderick. Okay. I got it. Roderick Guyton. Who ended up being Naz, and what is W. Hattinger in his head? Okay, number we one. We got that question over and over, but for number, number one, it was our. It was friend. actually my idea to bring. Uh, to a friend of ours, a friend of a good, for a good close friend of ours by the name of Emily. Um, it was my idea because she looked and sounded just like Naz, so I'm like, Preston, she's good. And when I texted her, she immediately responded, Yes, I want to play Naz. Um, Carlos, going to what have you seen on screen that terrified you the most? Oh, uh, oh, that's a hard question. I mean, um, in the theater, I'll Dr. Say, Satan from House of a Thousand Corpses. Me, it would have been, um, that scene in that mo in this Italian horror movie called The Beyond, the when the guy falls off and he's paralyzed and a bunch of tarantulas come and attack him and take his tongue off, that just I'd say oh, for me God, it would me be Poltergeist, uh, the the braces scene in Poltergeist too, because I had braces at the time. I literally almost I was so scared I couldn't sleep. I I I I begged my dentist to take my fucking braces off. Why is the language? Because I was so scared of that. But at, right now I don't I'm not scared. Um, I love horror movies. Isaac Paris. Hi, hi, bros. I'm from California. What's what up? up, California? Uh, Run Dead. Sorry, but can you guys add the three fan page in the description later? Of course we can. Oh, yeah. Is Naz ugly by Jonathan Goodboy? No. no. Are you kidding me? No. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. Ruju Tech USA. Okay, this one's a political question. How do we solve the North Korean crisis or preventing nuclear? Okay. Don't answer. Don't, Don't answer. I'm not going to answer. Political no comment. Crap. No question. I don't want to hear about it right now. I. I, I'm not good with power types. I'm sorry. Um, Jonathan, good boy. Been fun. Got to split. See ya. Bye bye. See you, Wo dude. Wolfpack four lit three. Worst cartoon you ever seen? Worst cartoon you ever seen? Nowadays, Cartoon Network shows. Teen Titans Go. T yep. Teen Titans Go. And I'd say the. What about the Ben 10 remake? Read. No. I don't, I don't even watch it. I don't I can't. watch it. Montana Life. If you give me any celebrity, who would it be? Me personally, I would love to meet my my dream crushes, and that's all I would ever do. I would love to meet Jake Gyllenhaal and ask him questions about, about Donnie Darko. About Donnie Darko, so, uh, Nightcrawler was a good one. <laughs> uh, Southpaw, yeah, he's a really good actor. Yeah, I would meet. He was going to play Spider Man in Spider Man Two because Tobey Maguire injured himself. That'd be cool. He got a, in an accident on set, and yeah. Jake Gyllenhaal was going to play him. Who would you meet? Uh, I want to meet. Um... Either Keanu Reeves. Oh, I like him too. Or, yeah, um, uh, he's really nice. I heard. Keanu Reeves, I would love to meet. He's a really nice guy. He's the guy that does impressions. Oh, uh, Michael Winslow. No, dude, man, man, uh, uh, I had he his name in my head. Guy. I was thinking it. He was Kevin Spacey. Kevin, Kevin Spacey. Spacey. Oh, he's really good. Love Kevin Spacey. Usual suspects. Is yeah, like I said, I would like if I ever get the chance to meet my celebrity dream crushes, I would love to ask him on a date. Wait, 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 wait. Crushes? We t are we talking about crushes? I said no. that before, but anyways, oh. a celebrity. Oh, Steve. Okay. Was Steve, not that's okay. my idea. Okay, we talking about crushes, I'm Scarlett Johansson. Daisy Ridley and Daisy, Zoe Deutsch. Uh, sorry, Daisy Ridley or Maisie Williams from Game of Thrones. Uh, if you guys were headed, okay, Kyle, am I dick? I don't know. I'm sorry. If you guys were headed directors from Cartoon Network, what three shows would you bring back to Ben and Eddie? Johnny Bravo. 
Cursed Cowley Dog, K and D. Billy and Mandy. Billy and Mandy. <laughs> Paige Sanders. Honestly, your question is just funny. Question, why does that plank of wood have a better face than I do? It's just a smiley face. It's all some happy. Some people are just born like that, man. Yep, people are born like that. I'm sorry. Record and Troy, do your best celebrity imp impression. Oh, gosh. Preston, you want to start with your, who's your celebrity impression you can do best? Should we, part, should we pass on that one? Uh, yeah, well, let me think about it for a little bit. All right, Ryan, you do one. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to think of a good one. Um, I actually, I don't know. There's just a lot. I'm a rock and roll man. God, no, no, that's not a celebrity ish. Uh, do somebody who's real, like a real person. Don't do Elmo. A real person? That would be too hard. Oh. Uh, no, I just. I, don't so know. Let me... I would probably do. Uh, I'll do I'll Walton try. Goggins, I would possibly do. Like, I'll from the Shield. Try. Um... Uh, oh, what's his name? Walton Goggins. No, let's just, just. Okay, I'll okay, skip that. Never mind. Skip that. Hmm. You're fine. Well, I'm sorry. We have four minutes farming. left, guys. I'm sorry to say. Oh, my we have a little time, so. The time goes by fast. Carlos going to the Beyond sounds great. It is great. Eh, yeah. It's a good classic Italian horror film. Check it out. What's your opinion about the second about the rumor of the second and any movie came out? We're the ones who are doing it, so <laughs> it's not a rumor. It's actually true. We are doing the sequel next year. Uh Omar Isles, can Ed say gravy butter toast in his voice? <laughs> uh, uh, oh yeah, butter toast. <laughs> butter toast. <laughs> butter toast. I like Turbo butter gang toast. Green. Ed, are you nervous about what? I'm not nervous. Um, Worst. You, okay, Salvador Ruiz, you guys like UFC MMA? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Or a St. Pierre. God uh, God bless that guy. Good night from North Carolina. Good, good night, night, good night Bill Nye. And thanks for the good luck for the Navy thing. Thank you. Do you have any advice for future video making? Depending on what material you're going to use and depending on what you want to make. Obviously, Timing if you're going to make like, is... a fan film, if you're... Gonna, if you're um, Timing is going to be hard. Timing is I'm terrible. I'm just going to say that. Do your research. Exactly. Have fun. Also, prepare to be slammed by critics. And be creative. Okay, are you aware that... Okay, I'm on 12, 1998. Are you aware that Spawn's getting a reboot movie? Yep. 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 Uh, everything about buttholes. Okay, that's an interesting name. Have you seen Problem Solvers once? Uh, who wins? Doctor Strange or Dr. Dr. Manhattan? I'd say probably Manhattan. Well, Doctor Strange can have the power to go back in time so oh, it'll just keep going on forever that's it dr strange would win <laughs> okay medusa or i'm from louisiana greetings greetings uh, i'm getting a poor boy or a laughter worst horror movie oh shoot house of a thousand corpses that's a good movie oh, scratch that. i'm wrong what about the what about the halloween, halloween remake? remake sorry i hated that one what the rob zombie Hall halloween dude the worst horror movie is uh killjoy killjoy Red and Dan, thanks for guys for making Christopher, a fan film. Christopher Walken. Bless you, get bless you. Yeah, Christopher bless you. Walken. Bless no. you, Red He's a bad guy. From Joe Drake. Born, uh, born, raised. No, not here. I'm in Kansas. Hold on, wait. I got Joe. I got one. Joe Pesci. What are you What are you do about a tough guy? Steven, best classic rock song. Uh, I'm sorry. I love the Police. Uh, Sting. Um. Invisible Sun's one of my favorites. I like the Ramones. Okay, Reba Red Panda, do you have any advice for a girl who has stage right? How do I overcome it? We are all actors on stage numerous times. What I, well, my biggest what advice for you, from Reba, Reba Red, Panda, Red Panda, is it's going to be stage dark. Right. Stage right? The whole, uh, picture yourself okay. just by yourself. Picture. Embrace pic it. Hold on. Rob, and words of Rod Sterling, picture this. Um, me, when I was in sixth grade... I had stage fright a little bit, but I saw the whole audience is dark. They'll see you, but you can't see them. Listen, all right? Depending on the character you're playing, use your nervous energy. Let it fuel you. Um, it's good that you're nervous. It shows that you care. And, um, yeah, um, but before, you know, you might want to, like, stretch a little bit. Take a stretch. Take some deep breaths. You know, calm yourself down. Uh, think about this is your moment. This is your only moment. You go for it. You take it. You accept it. Don't let this opportunity pass you up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and, and you, you do it to the best of your ability every single time. Megastorm 52, where's your favorite food? Cheeseburger. Shrimp. That's it. Fried chicken. Yep. Fair Salvador Ramirez, favorite beer. Okay, yes, we tried Lebop beer once. Budweiser or Bud Light for me? Or Bud, Bud Light. 
Yeah, you like you like Miller Light. Yeah, like Miller Light. Light. Yeah, one year drinking with my cousin. Like, um, Salvatore okay. Ramirez, thoughts on the It movie? It looks pretty great. terrifying. I, it looks really terrifying and really great. I'm really excited. Kyle Hamidic, are you into sports? If so, what teams? Okay, I love Detroit Lions, Detroit Ti- Detroit Tigers, Red Wings, Red Wings, Wings Tigers. especially. Go Rings. Uh, I love other teams from other state country, other states. It's Sorry, one thirty. Thirty. Yep. All right. Give um, it all, Edward Farrell, before y'all leave. We're just gonna say farewell. Thank you for everything. Thank you. All right, thank you. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Um, we are sorry we had to cut this short. I we yeah. apologize. Stay tuned for what we do in the future. We'll probably be posting some stuff. Uh, we're always supporting the Navy. God bless you all. And if yep. we do some live thank chats in the much. future, it'll probably just be in, just be me, and Ryan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, thanks everyone. Well, thank actually, you so much. I'm actually thinking about um, doing a review on the, on the new It movie, but no spoilers. I'm just gonna say how I liked it. Goodbye from California. I hope I get to stage nothing soon, though. Take care, Judah. Judah Vic. Take care. Reba, you uh, Yeah, that's, Reba, that's, thank you very thank much. You, for thank the, you for the questions. Really nice comments. I had some. We, they, were, they were flattering. We loved it. Mr. The Mr. Goat, bye-bye. Jehu Honorable, bye. Victor bye, Leo, bye-bye. bye-bye. See you later, guys. See ya. Oh, goodbye. See ya. <laughs> goodbye from Texas. Yep.